Hello there mortals, I'm Yinsen and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. We're going to be continuing with our gigantic non-Euclidean monstrosity of a, of, a, of a supermarket. Unless we fixed it. Unless we fixed it. Nope, nope, looks like we fixed it. Okay, so essentially where we left off, we kind of got our, our stuff together, right? We've got this automatic checkout which has been carrying for the entire game. We basically just need to start getting lots of shelves, lots of articles, and we need to start stocking heaps more stuff. Okay, good. This guy is actually restocking everything. Perfect. It was a little bit broken last time. So we'll come in here. We will probably wait until we sell something first. We have absolutely no money. Unless we take out a loan. We'll see if we can take out a loan. We can take out this loan. Maybe. Maybe we take out this loan, this basic loan for 750 bucks, and then we kind of like expand out the supermarket. We'll maximize the amount of time it takes to pay it off, and we'll just pay it off early, I think. We won't let it roll over. We won't let the compounding interest get us. Oh my god, all of that is really expensive. What the hell? 120 bucks for rent? What? Are you serious? We know all this take. Oh, right, okay, so we weren't paying our loan back, I think. Either that or this is kind of like in advance. We already paid some of our loan back, I think. Yeah, I think we just contributed to this loan right here. All right, now that we have that, let's go ahead and start thinking about expansion because we are going to need to think about expansion anyway. I think we'll wait a little bit until we start expanding out the back room. We'll just start getting a few more shelves and we'll start stocking just some more reliable products. More diversity, maybe two shelves. And then we'll start packing it out with all of the articles that we could potentially be sticking on here. Okay. Whoops, that's not what I want, that's cereal. Uh, we've got another shelf right here. Maybe it wasn't the actual shelves that were the issue. We didn't color these either. Whoopsies. That's fine. I'll just put these here. Good. And, you know, now that we've got these single shelves, we could probably actually start dedicating two shelves like a single article as well, which may kind of alleviate the stocker's ability to not waste time. Let's go to the market. We'll get some products. What do we need? We probably want some of the more expensive items. We definitely need this candy, which I'm pretty sure we have. We could probably just lay out the store a little bit better as well. What have we got? There's a bunch of chocolate right there. This was supposed to be our candy section. This is tea. That's definitely tea. Definitely tea. Absolutely. Yes. Coffee is over here. We probably want to double up the coffee. There's also olive oil. Okay. We're definitely going to be doing that. Let's go ahead and just start chopping and changing a little bit. We'll get some coffee if we can actually find the damn thing. Yep, there we go. Nope, that is pippy dip. We don't want that. We want, okay, this guy's just taking the last coffee. What an asshole. What an actual asshole. Like, that is such a dick move. <laughs> okay, so this will be the cereals right here. We'll start sticking the cereals right here. And we're also going to have more cereals stocked right above it. We're going to remove all of this one, and we're going to stick it all right there. And then we want to throw that on the floor, and we want to remove that label right there. Uh, we could probably actually go ahead and take all of this as well. Put that on the floor. Remove that label. And then we'll stick this here. And then we'll also take one and put a label up there as well. So that all of this is just going to be a good bit of cereal. Beautiful. Now, I don't know what else we can kind of grab with this box. I don't think there's anything else we can grab with this box. No, nothing. So we're done with this gigantic cereal box. Let's throw it out. Nice. What else we got? This is the chocolate. We actually got two. Why have we got two of these? The hell? Okay, we'll get rid of that label. We don't really want to double up on the on the stockpile. So that's probably not what we want to do whatsoever. So we probably want two shelves for the chocolate. I'm thinking maybe like right beside the cereal. I'll put all of the chocolate here. The real bougie expensive chocolate. We'll grab all of this stuff. We'll remove this label for the restock, restocks it. And then we will place all of this down here. Nice. Okay, good. Restocker is getting the oil out and on the shelves. That's perfect. What else we got? Coffee should probably be with the tea, realistically. Let's face it. We could probably actually... Oh my god, we've already got... Oh, we just took out a loan, didn't we? Okay, we'll get more coffee. We probably need another six boxes of it. Two, three, four, five, six. Done, add to cart, and it is ours. Very good, very nice. We'll go ahead, grab this, and I'll stick it down here. 
We may be able to grab T into this box. Perfect. And we will throw that on the ground, remove that label there. We'll pick up this T and hopefully we have enough to restock the box empty. We do. Good. We'll take one of those, put that there. Great. Excellent. So now we've got two little sections for everything. It should be moving all of the coffee into storage. Perfect. Love that. Let's turn on the lights. What else we got? Okay, we're probably getting pretty low on some of the other little essentials that we have, like peanut butter. We'll see if we have it in storage. Do we have peanut butter? We got yogurt. That's not used. We got two stacks of yogurt. What the hell? Why? Products must be the same. They are the same. Oh, I see. That rack is full. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So this is coffee. This is le pipite or something like that. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Probably cereal. We got salt. I'm not seeing the peanut butter. Maybe we didn't actually get boxes of peanut butter. We probably should, though. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, market. Where is the peanut butter? Right here. We'll get six of them, because that is what is required to fill up the racks, I think. Yep. We got the peanut butter size boxes. Uh, probably want to just stick it there, I think. Let's go ahead, grab a box of this. And we'll stick this kind of near to the other breakfast products and also chocolate. Which, the hell, this isn't what I asked for. This is coffee. Yuck, it's not what I want. Can't have a jar of coffee on my toast. Disgusting. Okay, good. We'll take these. We'll put them there. Oh, chocolate's too expensive. Oh, someone doesn't remember World War II. Okay, so we've got the salt here. We probably want to get all of the salt up as well. So we'll grab this here and we'll put all of this down here as well. Basically, we want a lot of these kind of like little items here that have a huge stack on a shelf. That'll attract people into the supermarket and then they'll buy these big ticket items as well, which is going to generate a heap of money. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's stop with the oil. We'll get the coffee and we'll start stocking it up top here. Actually, no, we've already got coffee. We don't want that there. And we also kind of want all of that to disappear as well, don't we? No, we can't do anything anyway. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, well, what else we got? We got the yogurt. We got two teas. Yes, we got two coffees. This guy's restocking candy, which is awesome. Love that. We'll get the bond back. We'll get the bags of bond back on that shelf right there. Where are we? Where are we looking? Where's the bond back? I know we got some somewhere. It's really dark in here as well. I can't really see. Oh, we need oil on maybe two shelves somewhere. So maybe... Okay, you're restocking the wrong thing, my dude. Wow. Can't believe that. We'll put the oil here and here as kind of like a an ease of access thing. And we'll take all of this coffee. We'll start actually restocking. We'll throw that on the ground. That can disappear. That can disappear. Okay, so if we don't buy any more stock, we'll kind of like start running out of the stuff we already have. And then we will kind of stop screwing ourselves over a little bit. La pipi dip. La pipi dip. Got lots of la pipi dip. I kind of want to move the yogurt as well. Okay, we could probably end the day. I don't think anyone else is coming into the store. We made $62. We did take out a loan, so we're making around about 800 bucks a day, which is pretty good, actually. Okay, let me pick that. We can get that on two different shelves. And now that we can actually see in here, let's try and move this. Let's try and move this so we can actually see what's in it. Like this? Oh, yeah, that fits. But only just. It only just fits. Where's let me pick that? Do we have let me pick that? We've got chocolate pick cereal. I see any let me pick that. I see yogurt. Not really interested in the yogurt. I don't see any le pipi there. There's uh, the packets of candy right here. Maybe we'll get some more le pipi there. We'll stock all of these here, because they are pretty good. And we'll get some le pipi there. Market. Products. Le pipi there. Where are you? Le pipi there. There we go. Uh, we'll get like six boxes of this. 200 bucks worth. Done. We're going to start stockpiling for the future, I think. This has got to be it, right? Yep, definitely. Start stocking that here and here. And we want to put these boxes on the shelf so that What's Madingle starts actually stocking everything, right? Okay, we'll put that there. Good, 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 good. So he should be going around maybe restocking the shelves now. 
We probably want to go ahead and just like wait at the end of the day for him to just dump all of those into the stock room. Might be a really good idea. Where was that, um, where was that box that I just threw away? I didn't really want to throw that away, actually. I don't think. I don't think I want to throw it away. All right, people are buying a bunch of stuff. Excellent. We probably want to get another six packs of oil now as well. Market, where is that olive oil? The good stuff right here. Done. We'll get a bunch of these. That's all of our money basically gone, which is absolutely fine. And I'll start stocking the oil down here so that we don't run out. Basically, if you don't stock the shelves, customers won't buy it. It's literally as simple as that. Yeah, what else are we looking at? Can we put the yogurt in here? Yes, perfect. I want to move that from here. We want to move the eggs away from there as well. We'll kind of like... We'll, we'll double stack everything. We'll have two elements where people can take from. So that we kind of like... When he comes in with a full box of something... And he starts stocking the shelves. He'll just move on to the other shelf. Just like that. That is perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right, let's throw this out. Perfect. Probably want to buy more of that yogurt as well, since so many people are buying it. What else we got? I'm going to start moving some of this into the storage room, because we are kind of in a bad spot now. Okay, we can also get rid of the cereal from the one of these top racks. I'll take this one here. We'll put that there. And we'll get this other one here as well. No, actually, let's stick them on top. Put them up. Put them up there. And then we'll just remove the labels from the bottom racks. Because we don't really care about the cereal too much. We basically just want the ability to store it. So we're not going to be monitoring it too quickly. All right, good. And we'll get rid of that label there, which frees it up for something else. Excellent. We're getting a lot of, uh, lot of experience as well. Where do we want to stick this? Probably right there. Good. What is this? Peanut butter? Good. We are stocking peanut butter. I don't think... Yeah, we are. Right there. Good. And the la I Yeah, we definitely have a stock place for that as well. More la Right there. And what is this? Oil. I don't think we've got a stock area for this. Yeah, we do. It's just down here. Okay, so we've got basically what seems to be a minimum storage for all of the items that we are kind of like selling hot off the shelves. La pipite goes there. Nice. What's this? Oil. Excellent. And we'll stick that there. There's not a hell of a lot that we can do until we kind of like get enough money to do so. Uh, la pipite. Good. And we'll go ahead and fire this one into the shelf as well. Just up here. Gorgeous. Nice. All right. I'm going to lean back and have a, little, a, a bit more of a relax. We've got some oil right here. Where is this going? Right there. Nice. We'll get to know the storeroom a little bit better once we expand it. As it currently stands, we don't really need to memorize this because we're just going to move it again anyway. Wow, we've gone through a lot of peanut butter since we bought that peanut butter. And apparently coffee. My dude, what are you doing? That is not where that goes. This guy's dumb. This guy's dumb as a brick. Okay, let's throw that on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and go into the management screen, see if I can unstick him with this button right here. Working. Turn that off. All right, he threw it on the ground and he just left. Good. Now we want to make him work again. Done. That may have cost us 100 bucks though. I think that may have been a bad thing. Oh, well. Okay, this lady's buying a lot of le pipite. Gorgeous. Got a lot of yogurt that we should probably be stockpiling as well. We've got about 500 bucks in pocket. We'll probably do with another self-checkout as well. That's going to be 900 bucks. We don't necessarily need it just yet. I just want it because it's fast. All right, good. Uh, let's buy ourselves a light. We do actually need a light. I just don't know where we would buy them. Probably from the management? No, that's where we just went into market. Furniture. It's probably a furniture. Even though I would not call a spotlight furniture. All right, let's buy this light right here. And we'll use it to illuminate the stock room so that we can kind of take stock at the end of each day. Uh, why is it that orientation? That's weird. Yeah, we'll put that there. Now, if we turn this on, we should be able to see. We need a light switch. Okay, perfect. So we've got quite a bunch of stuff. I don't necessarily think that we... 
really need to buy a lot of other stuff other than this candy right here, which seems to just absolutely go right off the shelves. Let's go into the market. We'll go into products and we'll buy more of this candy. Oh, we haven't bought any. That's why. Okay, good. We'll add that to the cart. Purchase. Excellent. So let's go ahead and start jamming this into the shelves because we seem to be completely out. Nice. I'm going to throw that on the ground because I'm a Philistine. Let's grab another one of these and we'll stick it right here. Very good. And we'll throw this out next. Excellent. Now we do want to store all of this. We'll go ahead and start sticking this all over the place. One here. One here. One down here. Excellent. And one right here. Very nice. I like. We need lots of yogurt. Actually, we should probably be spending our money on the yogurt. Okay, people are still going to be coming in. They're going to be doing a bit of shopping, but I think that what we should be doing is waiting a little bit so that we can kind of see what we are working with when it comes to this guy's workload, right? So we definitely need more tea. We need heaps more tea, actually. We need like six boxes of tea. Go ahead and just uh, put this on the shelf so that is done and dusted. So this guy should start restocking the actual stock rooms pretty shortly. We're going to need a lot more yogurt too. Okay, we'll get more yogurt. We'll get more tea. What is this? Can I do anything with this? Yes. People are still shopping. I don't know why I would kind of like finish the day early if people are buying such huge quantities of stuff. Look at this. She got four bags of coffee. Three bags of candy. That is the... I don't actually know if I agree with that meal. That seems like a girl dinner. Spent a lot of money though. Good for us. And this guy is finally restocking the candy the right way. Excellent. We got this one last guy buying four tubs of peanut butter. That's kind of weird. A little bit creepy. Go ahead and start restocking the candy. Nope, there's only one block of chocolate in this box. That's obnoxious. What is this guy going to spend? I think he's buying a lot of stuff. We can kind of see what he's buying. How much is it? 54 bucks! My man! And he went behind the machine to exit. That's weird. Okay, now nobody is going to be doing anything else. The hell happened there? Oh, he's restocking everything. Great. All right, what do we need? We need more cereals. I think that we just kind of like committed to memory, right? And then the next day, we just kind of get the stuff that's looking really, really low. Like tea, we need yogurt, and we need all the cereals. Tea, yogurt, cereals. Okay, that's fine. Are you doing anything else? What about that one last chocolate cereal? Can that go on the shelf? Yes, it can. I'll do that one. I'll grab it. Yes. Nice, and we'll stock this one right here. I'm going to throw that in the middle of the floor because I... Want this guy to earn his wage for a living. I think he's actually going to go throw it out, which means he's done restocking the shelves. So, we need tea, we need yogurt, we need cereals. Tea, yogurt, cereals, that's pretty much it, honestly. Okay, we'll end the day and we'll start another one. Tea, yogurt, cereals. All right, let's go into the market. We need yogurt. We'll just get this in lots of six because that's how much we can stock. And we need tea and we need cereals. We'll only get two boxes of cereals at a time. Where else? This is also a cereal. Good. And we'll get six teas. How much is it going to cost? Quite a lot. 404 bucks. We only have 112. That's not amazing. Okay. We'll open the store now. This guy's still walking around doing a bunch of stuff. What are you doing there? What's that? La pipite? Is that what it is? All right, we need 400 bucks. We'll start stocking all of this yogurt again. I think this guy actually did just restock the yogurt, but he didn't do anything after the bottom row. Okay, I'll throw that out on the street to collect mold because that's what makes cheese expensive. Mold. We'll get some of that on the yogurt and people will just kind of like buy that as a bougie little, little treat. Okay, what else can we work towards? We could probably get some more of these products license. I do kind of want to save up for the, what is it? The sushi. The sushi is a huge seller. It's going to cost us about two grand though. So maybe we want to just focus on paying off, pay off all the bills. Got four days rent that we are behind on as well. We got $2.41 to our name. Growth. No, not hiring, not storage. We definitely can't afford customization at this point either. We want to... What am I looking for? Products, furnitures. Pay off our loan. Where the hell is the loan? Bang, right here. Okay, 
So we've got two loans. That's probably why we are not flush with cash, right? So if we make 700 bucks today, we'll just pay off this loan really, really early. We probably won't, though. We probably won't, though, because we don't necessarily have... Oh, we actually do have shelves full of cereal. That's quite nice. Whoa, this lady is buying heaps. Look at her go. I love that. I love seeing that. We can definitely start stocking a bunch of other stuff as well. I don't know how useful it's going to be to start stocking other things. We've got a full shelf here, though, so it seems kind of to, to me to be a bit of a waste if we're not actually stocking all these things. Oh, the, look, the shelf stock is actually filling up the storage. Good for him. Good for him, indeed. All right, we'll only replace the articles that are actually empty on the, on the storerooms, I think. Other than that, not a hell of a lot to do. You did not actually just put down one shaker of salt, did you? Wow, he did. He just restocked one shaker of salt. That's going to make us uh, less than a dollar. What a dick. Can't believe that. What is this guy getting? One bag of coffee, two bags of coffee, three bags of coffee, four bags of coffee. Wow. That is 38 bucks right there. And some oil. That's also a bit of a big ticket item. Get some cereal. Yeah, get like six boxes. Two boxes. That's fine. This guy's actually a huge customer. Wowee. He's going to be spending heaps. We can actually see as well exactly what he's spending. All right, let's take a look at this total. Nice. Oh, I like this. I like that number going up so high. 64, 69, love that. 79 buckery booze. And this guy is gone. He, he came in here for a bottle of water and ended up spending 80 bucks on groceries, which is actually how my own life goes these days. I basically just go into a supermarket just to get myself... Uh, like a MyZone or some kind of isotonic drink so that I can recover from all the incredibly arduous exercise that I do in the hour that I actually do exercise each day. And then Yin said is all like, oh, we also need bread and we also need uh, six boxes of soy milk. And hey, uh, can you run across the store and get me some tofu? And she's vegan, by the way, which is why she specifically requires these things. It's not so bad, actually. I don't mind living with a vegan. I don't mind cooking for a vegan. She's compromised a little bit on my end after I spent seven years compromising on hers. I don't really care what I eat whatsoever, but I do want to eat with her. That is that is kind of like my ideals, I would say. All right, this lady spending? 30 bucks? Nice. We still need 400 to get the restocks that we need. What are you spending? 21 bucks? Not even remotely close to what we needed. All right, the government's here. Hopefully they don't uh, take a look under the hood at our taxes because we are about five days behind on a bunch of stuff. All right, what's the government buying? Two, three, four, five uh, little tubs of yogurt. Why did he say he just get a litre tub? Two shakers of salt and that's it. What a disgusting lunch. Why is the government so weird? Oh, speaking of weird, look at our restocking monkey come in here. What are you restocking? Candy, probably. Yeah. It seems like people love candy. All right, there's still stuff in that box. Ugh! It's a guy with a weird character model. Man, he is hideous. His shoulder's, like, massively far apart, but he's super skinny. I think this is what it looks like when you only do back day. Back and obliques. If you only exercise your back and obliques, this is what you look like. <laughs> oh, Yuck! It's very clearly too tight around his torso, but uh, his arms are not even remotely being covered. Okay, good. That's pretty funny, actually. I figured out exactly what's wrong with that guy. It turns out it's his, um, it's his exercise routines. Man, people love this yogurt. It's only $1.50 each, though. Maybe we want to get... If we're going to start selling low-ticket items like this en masse, we probably want to get ourselves a second checkout. A second self-checkout. Okay, we are definitely getting all of this right here. Nice. So that is uh, restocking done. We probably are out of other things, though. To be quite honest. Looks like we're out of tea. I think we just bought lots of tea. It's probably what costs so much. Still got 100 Le Pipi Dip. We got 90 Bon Dad. And we also got 30 Peanut Butters. Peanut Butter also sells pretty quickly as well. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on so everyone can see. I'm not going to turn the lights on in the restock room simply because i don't want our employee to be able to see we want him to strain his eyes you know no pain no gain so to speak i only got one yogurt that's healthy that's healthy you don't just buy like seven of those individually packed yogurts that makes no sense what's she spending 35 bucks nice we got 165 buckery booze right now 
This lady's getting a couple of bottles of oil and some salt. I bet she is a chef. That's probably why she's so sweaty. What is this guy getting? Just one yogurt and something else? Couldn't find the bon papa cake? We stock it? Or do we? We don't actually stock bon papa. Should we? I think we should. We should be stocking bon papa. No, we haven't. We haven't stocked in the back rooms over here. It's right here. Bon papa. Okay, we just haven't actually put it on the shelves. Let's do this. Let's restock some of the shelves. We'll do both of these. Just kind of like spread ourselves out a little bit. Oh, look, it's the it's the rich guy. It's the guy who lives in mansions who couldn't afford cheese. It's pretty funny, actually. I bet his mortgage is so high that he just literally cannot afford it. Did he just take a bunch of Bon Papa or was that salt? Or was it tea? No, he took a bunch of tea. Well, tea is... Ah, it's not really that expensive, is it? Ah, well. Okay, we've got a couple of people still shopping. Apparently the cereal is too expensive. Why are the prices going down so much? They start high and then they get lower and lower and lower. Is it because we're selling it? We're diluting the market? My dude, these are consumables. It doesn't permanently lower the prices. That's not how commerce works. Ah, perfect. He's actually significantly faster at that than us as well. That should be the end of that box, right? Don't put, like, one back. Yeah, perfect. That's the end of the box. All right, good. He's starting to fill up the warehouse again. No, he's not. He's just taking items off the street to restock the shelves, which is probably actually for the best. He's putting, like, half-filled boxes in the storeroom, but at the same time, we're making sure that we actually have the stuff on the shelves to be sold in the first place, which is pretty good. Very good. Very good. Love it. Yes, yes. Okay, the government is here. What is the government buying? My la pipite. He loves la pipite. I don't know if you if you have to do the kind of like upwards inflection at the end of la pipite, but I'm pretty sure that's how you say it in French. Wow, this guy's beginning a lot of stuff. What is he spending? Ah, uh, 30 bucks. That's not... Oh, he's getting more. Nice. Here's the la pipite. He had to ruin his wallet. Are they $5.50? $4.50. Market price of $3.80. That's hilarious. We have such a huge markup on that. What's our profit on this? $2.56. Wow. That is 100% markup. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll wait until this guy stops moving so we can actually see what still needs to be put down in the cellar. In the slave cellar. I mean the uh, storeroom. Start stocking this tea up here. What's this? There's also tea. What the hell, man? Did you just neglect all of the tea? Uh, tea is a huge, like, stockpile item, though, so... It's probably okay if there's not huge amounts of tea on the shelves at any given time. Okay, all of it was tea. Yeah, we got heaps of tea left, honestly. We're still doing pretty good. Awesome. We found a little bit of a rhythm. I know we probably did... <laughs> we ran this place the opposite of how we were supposed to initially. But we're in a good spot now, right? We're in a really, really good spot. Okay, good. Yes, fill it up. Fill that cream into the fridge. I love that. I love seeing that. Now he's going to empty the box. Gorgeous. All right, what else is there? There is not a hell of a lot that's empty, right? We're kind of good on stockpile for everything. We're low on peanut butter, and we're also low on those bags of candy as well that we keep buying. We have no cereals left. Probably want to just take this box, go ahead and stockpile it. It's already been stockpiled. Gotcha. We'll put that back. So we need cereal. We need candy bags. Cereal, candy bags. Cereal, candy bags, peanut butter. Cereal, candy bags, peanut butter. Let's add that to our cart. Cereal, candy bags, peanut butter. Cereal, and there's another cereal down here. Candy bags. Where are they? Here they are. And uh, there's one other thing that we need as well, right? What was it? It was... Okay, we got our cereal. Peanut butter. Oh, we also probably need more coffee, too. We're getting pretty low on coffee. All right. We'll start the next day because we can't actually buy anything until we get in here. Oh, look, he's not working. That's good. That means he's restocked everything. Okay, we'll buy this immediate... L can't afford it, apparently, past the loans. Good God, those loans are actually kicking our ass. We need to be able to sell more items. We need more items. Hello there, sir. Would you like to buy some of our crap? We need to pay a loan off. One box of tea. Oh my God, are you serious? What a dick. I think we'll also name the store today. We'll actually give the store a name. I think if this guy spends 
60 bucks. We'll name the store right now. No, not even remotely close. 25 bucks. Almost half that, though. Close. Get in, get in there. What are you doing? Just stand there looking like an idiot? Why did they give the most dopey character model? The one that's uh, kind of like supposed to be stocking the shelves. Why can't we get this guy to restock our shelves? Actually, this guy kind of looks like he's a... Um, a boss. Like, we're supposed to assassinate him in Dishonored. I think that's his whole deal. It looks like someone who would deal with Dad. Look at him. We'll look at him through this window right here. No, we can't. There's a window in the way. Where are you going? He definitely looks like a Dishonored character, though. Not one of the main ones, but definitely one of the ones we are supposed to assassinate. All right, this lady's getting lots of bags of candy. We can almost afford it. We can almost afford to change the name of the store. I am going to do it. It's 250 bucks, though, so we do have to be kind of sparing with money afterwards. Okay, five bucks away. Well, $4.49, actually. $4.49, and this lady has absolutely crowned our new name. Thank you, lady. Bye-bye. Piss off. Okay, let's go into the management. We will customization. Store name. We'll change it. Okay. Let's name this thing. Let's not name it the supermarket. Let's name it something that we could kind of like lean into as a brand, right? So I'm thinking piss off. <laughs> Even looking at that looks funny. Uh, what? I think we want kind of like fear response red as the color. And then as the background color, we want like magenta. Magenta maybe? Oh, that's heinous. I hate that. Or maybe green. How's that? Oh my God. That harms my eyes. Ugh. Oh, well, it catches the eyes, so. All right, let's approve it. 250 bucks done. We are now. Ah, here we go. The store has opened. We are now piss off. All right, grand opening day, everybody. And uh, there's no sale, by the way. There's no sale on any of the products on our grand opening day. In fact, we're actually going to go around. We're going to increase the prices because we're open. Uh, this one's pretty good. Let's increase it by 10 cents. Sure. Oh, apparently it's too expensive, like, as a baseline. Right, okay, let's keep that as zero. Six dollars. Okay, that one can stay as its price. This one here, eight dollars. Four twenty profit, that's hilarious. All right, what about this chocolate? This chocolate is already at a 300% markup. Peanut butter, however, uh, it could probably actually go up to about 550. We'll be really greedy. We'll be really greedy since we sell so much peanut butter. Oh, we also need to buy the other stuff as well, don't we? All right, the salt here. I think we could probably get away with maybe $2.60. Let's see. And there's also this olive oil that we already have at a 200% markup. I'm going to set it to $6.20 right here. A, a grand opening. Piss off is now open. Every what the hell is up with this guy's character model? He is also low poly as hell. Weird. Okay, let's look at the bun papa and see how expensive this is. This is already almost 300% markup. It's pretty funny. Uh, what about the tea? Tea is unfortunately reasonable. Let's rack that up to $5.60. Increase that by 10 cents. The coffee here. Probably ramp this up a little bit. Market price is way higher than what we've set it as. Okay, we're setting it to $11. No. $12. Excellent. And now we've got the bun papa. Okay, this guy's broken. Why is he still trying to put... The chocolate on the shelf. My man! Oh, apparently the coffee is not too expensive. All right. Well, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil. Okay, couldn't find Ron's sliced bread. This guy's actually costing us money now. Let's go ahead and go into management. Hiring. We'll stop him from working by pressing this button. And then we will get him to work again. That should unstick him. Yeah, good. Done. Why does he want to put it here? Is he stupid? Okay, the coffee's too expensive. It was like eight bucks, I think. Set it to nine, see what happens. Okay, that should be good. And the candy bags. Nah, they're pretty good, actually. I think our prices are about as high as we'll get away with setting them. What is this lady looking for? Looking for oil? Lady? Oil? What the hell? Ah, well. All right, let's see if we can actually buy our market order. We can. Beautiful. Good. I'm pretty sure these uh, actually do attract people into the store as well. Uh, we've got this here, crispy chibi. Go ahead and just restock the shelves ourselves for a bit. Put that there. Uh, there's one more. One more in that box. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, this one here is a little bit too expensive. How about $2.90? Done. We'll adjust the prices. That can be our job, I think. We'll adjust the prices for a living. Oh, there was only two chocolate bars in there. 
It's embarrassing. Okay, apparently they're too expensive. How expensive do they need to be? Like $2.20, maybe? We don't want lots of people buying this stuff, though. Oh, it stacks three times, actually. We probably do. Okay, good. We can get rid of this box right here. Throw that out there. We'll turn the lights on so people can see. Good. Are you taking the piss, you dickhead? Why? Seriously? My dude! What are you doing? Stop! This guy's a dick, honestly. Okay. We'll take... Maybe not this box. We'll take this box here. And maybe we should swap the La Pipites somewhere else. We'll take all of these off the shelf right here. And we'll start putting them down here instead. This is kind of like the bait stuff aisle, I think. Alright, we'll get rid of all that. Done. Put all of this down here. Okay, we'll see if that was the problem. Or if he's just kind of like trying to get these bags of candy. I feel like he's now trying to get these bags of candy stocked as chocolate. Alright. Let's get this candy. What if we stick it here? No, that's not what he's doing. Here? No, that's not what he's doing. One of these has bugged out. And we are unable to kind of like... Ah, that sucks. Okay, we'll put down all of this chocolate again then. And then we'll move all of this candy. We've got to change this to chocolate, I think. Unfortunately. Because I think there might be a little bit of an error with this shelf. I think this guy is actually trying to place all of this on here. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll remove all of that from the shelf. Put it here. Okay, yeah, he was actually trying to restock it with chocolate. We'll put all of this down here. Next, then we'll move this shelf as well over here. Okay, it's full. Let's go ahead and throw that on the ground. We'll get rid of these two labels. We still have a spare slot for something. We could probably actually start selling something else. All right, we've got 363 buckery booze. We did just buy a heap of stock, though. So that is something quite nice. Actually, that is actually really nice. Okay, no one else is buying anything. Never mind, I take it back. The Punisher is buying a heap of stuff. What's it going to cost? It's not going to be cheap. 42 bucks. Nice. Couldn't find the powdered sugar? Yeah, we don't sell it, my dude. Okay, what else are we looking at? Basically nothing. I think we've got a good workflow going. Okay, piss off is out here. It's a shame you can't illuminate the sign. Let's take a look at the storeroom. So we're completely out of peanut butter, I think. Here's going to be restocking the shelves. We've got more of this candy here. We'll start stocking this into the storeroom. It's a shame you can't kind of, like, consolidate all of the half-filled boxes in the storeroom. That'd be really cool. Even if it like, even if you had to do an action to do it, like pick up a box and then use it on another box, it would still be nice to be able to do it rather than not. What is this? Bag of candy? Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just start stocking this out. Nice, and we'll just leave that on the ground there. What is this? Just chocolate? Yeah, okay. And what else we got? We got uh, cereal. I'll just start frog hopping all of this closer to this guy. Oh, he's actually restocking more of the shelves. Really? Why is no one buying the peanut butter? Is it because we increased the prices? I mean, it sucks to suck, my guys. Okay, he's thrown out a box. He's not... He's still restocking. Is he still restocking? Oil? Oh, probably oil, actually. We should be getting really low on salt right now as well. Let's go ahead and see what we've got. Yeah, we've got 17 more packs of salt, which is not great. Why are you doing Bun Papa first? Is that empty? It'll be empty. It is empty. Great. Okay, the camera's kind of getting a little bit jerky. I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain. Otherwise, the game will break. Whew, what's he doing next? He's doing the oil. Great. So, we are really low on a bunch of things, actually. Salt, coffee, peanut butters, empty, chocolate, cereals. Actually, I've got cereals here. Chocolate can go right there, if the game will allow me to do so. And we've also got this one that goes here. Okay, so this is completely restocked for now. We got 400 bucks. I'm pretty sure we're going to lose all of this overnight because of the loans that we've got. Is that empty? Yes, here it is. Are you going to go back to neutral or are you going to start stocking more stuff? What could there be? La Pipite, maybe? I think that's La Pipite. Okay, let's just go ahead and finish the day because it takes a wee while for the customers to actually get in the door the next day. All right, we've got 160 bucks after bills. 
He's going to start stocking the Lepipide. Good for him. Is that empty? No, it is not. But 160 bucks. We should probably sink it all into peanut butter if we can. Market. Uh, we need six peanut butter. 200 bucks. It's going to take a wee while before we actually get to it. All right, he's restocking the tea now as well. The customers are now coming in. Although, hilariously, I think this guy's just going to walk out. Yeah, we don't sell milk, so he's not really interested in buying from us. And aside from the yogurt, we don't really have anything else for this guy to restock. Piss off, I love that so much. <laughs> it's such an eyesore. Ah, here's the salt as well. We're going to need a lot of salt, probably about 10 salts. All right, there was one salt left in that container. What else have we got? Salt we've got left. 16. I think that's how many are in a box. He may be going and getting the other salt box. There it is. Okay, we're completely out of salt now. Allegedly. I feel like he's going to restock some of it and then he'll kind of like put the box back. Oh, apparently the cake is too expensive. We probably... Is it? No, that's Boom Papa. What are these? $4.50? Okay, let's lower this to about $4.30 and see how that sells. Probably a lot better. I think it's kind of like a chance for people to be all like, yeah, I want to buy that. Rather than they just come in and then they look at the prices and they've already decided that's too expensive. Because that wouldn't make a lot of sense from a functional standpoint. Okay, let's restock this. Good. Throw that on the ground and we'll restock this. Good. Let's go ahead and throw that out. And this one as well. We'll throw this one out too. Nice. Good. Okay. What else we got? Not a lot else. So we can get our peanut butter now. That's pretty much all we need aside from the salt, which we're going to get a full load of. Why does that allow you to buy more than what you can actually put in a cart? Maybe it was intended that you could actually buy this. We need 112 Bucky Reboos. Okay, this guy's getting... We've got enough. We can now buy it. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I get that it's because of the amount of things on the street might overload the game eventually, but at the same time, who cares? Who cares? Who actually cares? Okay, we are selling things, which is awesome. We probably want to... Yeah, we probably do want to start making loan payments, don't we? Okay, we do have some overdue bills. They're pretty expensive. We could probably just get these out of the way as soon as we possibly can. What is the penalty? Okay, it's 12 bucks a day. That's fine. We can definitely get that money eventually. Oh my god, total debt, 3.2 thousand bucks. That's insane. Okay, we definitely want to pay off our loans then. If we can, we'll save up for the day and we'll try and pay off this first loan right here. Because uh, I feel like the excess of this loan that we've taken out is probably draining the last of our wallet. I don't want to get doom looped. Okay, we're not going to buy anything else. Let's go ahead and start stocking this salt onto the shelves. And we should be fine and dandy. All right, good. The cereal's going back on the shelf as well. People are going to love that. And by people, I mean me. Me specifically. Specifically because we make money off of it. I love that. Maybe not people. Just me. Just me. Okay, good. Uh, he didn't even put all of the cereal on the shelves. A little bit annoying. Go ahead and put that there. Look at all of the salt up on the racks here. Nice. And this one goes down too. Boom. Gorgeous. And there's two more of these packs of salt to go on there, right there. No, actually, there's not. There's only the one. So we've got peanut butter now. We need to start stocking this. I feel, though, if we don't have the door that just leads into the store from the upgrade path, maybe it's best just to leave it on the street to shorten the distance between where the worker actually gets the product and then they start stocking. Might be a good idea. Okay, we've got 274 buckery boos. Awesome. We aren't getting many people in the door. Okay, this guy's going to buy a bunch of stuff. 16 bucks or not. Wow. Okay, how much left do we have to pay off on that first loan? We need a goal. We need 650 bucks, and then we should be able to pay that one off, and we should start making a profit every day. That will kind of like snowball all of our expenses into a really good spot. Okay, good. We're at 300. That's about halfway, but we're also past halfway through the day. Maybe we don't buy anything else today. Maybe we just kind of, like, wait. Okay, this lady was looking for pasta and couldn't find it, so she's leaving. Looks like the government and uh, some guy dressed like the government are having some kind of uh, variation of fornication. 
what's going on over by those shelves over there. I don't know if I'll like outlaw it from the store because they are paying customers. Wow, this guy's buying a lot of chocolate. This stuff's expensive, man. Okay, he only spent 16 bucks though. This guy's only getting candy. Girl dinner. The government's buying a girl dinner. Couldn't find oil. I don't think that would have helped. If he found oil, maybe he would have cocked some eggs or something, but now he's just going to have six bags of candy for dinner. Okay, this guy bought a bunch of bum papa and also some chocolates. He's got a sweet tooth. All right, we're at 377 buckery booze. Nice. Uh, this guy's quite rotund. I'm not shaming him or anything like that. He's just got like a weird proportion character model. But not as weird proportioned as that guy who only does back and obliques. What a weird choice. I don't think I'd make that choice personally. All right, good. Let's turn the lights on, even though we can't afford it. <laughs> I love how the store is literally hanging in the balance of fate. We only need about 250 bucks. Well, to be specific, we need $245.79. That's all we need. We're about to get a lot more money. Okay. That's made a significant contribution. Excellent. Wow, this lady's buff as hell. Look at her guns. She's got guns like me. Jesus. Hello there, Alessandra. Welcome to the stream. We're running a supermarket into the ground. <laughs> We're basically teetering on the, on the precipice of bankruptcy at all times in this game. People are quitting buying things because they can't find things like bottled water, which is a little bit daft. All right, this guy is probably going to get a lot of candy. No, he's not. He can't find what he wants. He's leaving. Okay. This lady here is buying a bunch of bun pipits. Or pipits. What are they called? Bun pipite? Yep. She got some yogurt. Excellent. She's probably going to buy some tea. And if she wants a bag of coffee, there's one there. Or not. All right, the Punisher here is going to be buying a bunch of stuff. What's he spending? 21 bucks. Okay, that's okay. It contributes. Oh, my God. Hey, it's Alessandra. Welcome to the BFD division. That scared the ever-loving hell out of me. That notification doesn't work every single time, but when it does, it, it jump scares me every single time. Okay, this guy's buying a bunch of bags of candy, probably because he can't find the oil again. Right, what's our restocker doing? Is he actually doing anything? Yes, he is actually doing something. I wonder why this tile is... This is kind of, like, a little bit annoying, because there's a spare tile on top of this tile here. I don't know why that's there. I suppose when you spend long enough inside of a video game, you start noticing a little weird touches like that. I think it's supposed to add texture. Okay, this guy. Oh, we are six bucks short. Oh, we are literally so close from being able to pay off that loan early. Six, 644 bucks and 41 cents. Yuck. We are $5.59 away. Anyone else coming? No. Okay. All right. We'll just start the next day. We don't really have a choice in the matter. Ooh, 330 bucks. So we've got 644 and we lost half of it. So now we should be getting lots and lots of customers, right? We should have enough to pay off that loan, that one loan. And then we'll kind of like snowball into the second loan. Because if we pay off the first loan, we'll be able to um, save all of the money that we originally would have spent on that first loan. And we can invest it into paying off the second loan early. Which means we won't be paying so much uh, compounding interest. All right, we're completely out of chocolate. We're not going to start restocking or anything like that until we get this loan paid off because we do desperately need the money. And all we have at the moment is liquid assets. Or, you know, things that we can sell. So we'll get these liquid assets into these people's bags and hopefully into these people's tummies so that these people can deposit their liquid assets into the toilet. Because we don't really sell anything else other than food. Maybe it wouldn't be a great idea to be eating the salt, but... I mean, I'm not going to tell somebody how to spend their money or spend their health or anything like that. One bag of coffee and three packs of salt. That's weird. Strange combination. People really want strange products, like some real crap products. They'll only come in for it. Has the crippling pressure of debt caught up to you yet? Yes, it has, actually. We are, we are about to die, I guess you could say. We're about to die. Are you taking the piss, good sir? Why is this shelf so busted? I don't get it. I just don't get it. This guy should not be trying to put this on these lower shelves, because I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he's trying to do. Okay, that guy's a dunce. Wow. Uh, we need to go into the management screen, and we need to tell him to stop working, and then to start working. 
All right, we're going to reboot him. There you go, buddy. Get back to work. What an idiot. What an asshole. We probably want to sell this, sell this shelf because this one appears to get the employees stuck, unfortunately. It's not a great thing to have to deal with. Like, these ones are fine. Maybe it's the colored ones. It's always this shelf specifically. It's never the other ones. We're out of peanut butter as well. We still have stuff stocked on the shelves, which is awesome. This guy's going to spend a lot. 34 bucks. Well, maybe not a lot, but she definitely spent. Awesome. It's going to be replacing some of the cereal. Don't know why he wasn't doing the other cereal first. It's obviously being sold in higher quantities. What's the average cost? $2.33? What about this one? $3.80? Probably actually hike up the prices on this one. Maybe 9 bucks. Let's do that. Okay, chocolate pick is now 9 bucks. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Piss Off. We have just increased our prices. I hope you enjoy uh, the product. I know you may not enjoy the prices, but the products are definitely exactly the products that you would expect to be buying with the labels on them, obviously. All right, this lady's buying a bunch of stuff. I don't even know what La Pipite is. Does it look like a case of muffins? Like tiny muffins? I just don't know. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this in the corner so it's not in the way. Hello there, lady. Where is the light? Why is the light being sucked out of your hair? What a weird vibe. She's like a, a black hole. Maybe she came from Berserk. Wow, she's buying a lot of stuff, actually. Maybe a black hole is great. Maybe a wallet is also a black hole. She's got a couple of teas. Okay, a few things, actually. We're very close to the $650 mark. We are going to just wait until we pay off that loan, though. Don't get stuck. You better not get stuck. Oh, you piece of garbage. You literal piece of human garbage. Oh, my God. Ah! That is so frustrating. All right. Let's reboot him. What a penis. What a, we need to get rid of the shelf, actually. It doesn't seem to be doing any good for us. Let's put the candy somewhere else. Like right here, maybe, possibly. And we will get rid of the labels on this here. Good, 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 good. Throw that on the ground right there. Get rid of that label. And now we need to fully pack this box right here, hopefully. No, we are one shy. We need one person to buy one bag of this candy. Please? Who will do it? Who will purchase this massively overpriced candy for my convenience? I am holding the box. Yes, yes, Taylor Swift, will you buy the candy? No, not the chocolate, you rich lady. The cheap stuff. Uh, Joe Biden, would you like to buy this candy, please? It's candy. There's only one single bag of candy over here. Okay, I'm just going to put it in this box. <laughs> get rid of the label. Okay, that should fix it. We're going to get rid of this uh, shelf. It's, I think it's buggered. What the hell just happened with the box? I saw something weird out of the corner of my eye. What are you doing? Are you still trying to put this there? Oh my god. I literally cannot believe this. Okay, let's pay off our loan. Oh, I'm taking a break from that dickhead. So now we should be able to afford living essentially. We have such a crippling amount of debt at the moment. We probably should be selling this shelf right here, but we've got to replace it with something else. We could probably actually do that now, actually. Let's go into the furnitures. We'll get one single kind of like, what is that? A single shelf right here, uncolored. Oh, we don't want two of them. We only want the one. And then we'll purchase it because the colored ones apparently are broken. All right, let's place this down right here. And we are going to sell this. We'll pick it up we will box it up and then we will sell it by holding. Okay, done. We got $62.50 for that. Uh, we'll move this one into its position. I know it's quite dark. It's like, it's anxiety atmosphere. I don't know if anybody has actually seen that absolute crock of garbage that is, oh yeah, we keep all the lights off at like 9 to 10 p.m. so that people with uh, autism and stuff can come and shop here. What a crock of garbage. They just don't want to pay the power bill. Right, where is the chocolate? Are we out of chocolate? Oh, we are out of chocolate. Embarrassing. And we also don't have any boxes that we can kind of like deposit anything into. Okay. So we're not going to be selling chocolate for a wee while. Apparently that shelf kind of sold everything on it as well. Okay. Let's turn this light off right here so that this guy can't see what he's doing. I love that so much. I love him not being able to see what he's doing. We're at level 18, actually. When do we get the next employee? Uh, Level 22. Okay. And we also need to get racks. Let me purchase rack. Oh, right, storage racks. Okay, so we need six storage racks 
And then we should be able to get exactly what we need. We're also losing experience. What is up with this candy? It's breaking the AI. I don't get this. I don't, this is such a weird esoteric bug. I just don't understand it. Why this candy? Like, no one can take it. It's super weird. Okay, this lady just tried to take some. I think she did actually take some. Maybe we just got to stop selling all of these busted items. What if we just change the price? Down to, like, 4.4. Does that change his mind? No. He still wants it. Okay, the black hole lady is now stuck as well. I just don't get it. What is up with this candy? Maybe we just stop stocking the candy? Okay, we'll wait until everybody just buys this candy, because this guy's obviously getting some. Black tea's too expensive? Okay, we can chase that. We'll put it down to, like, $5.40, I think. All right, this guy's restocking the lepepide. I'm pretty sure that is a case of muffins. All right, this guy couldn't find the oil. Oh, well. Watch me here. We've got two people trapped in purgatory eternally. Let's enter to finish the day, because I don't think we're going to get any customers. And we'll see what we've got left afterwards, which is going to be... Negative $96. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. We need to uh, basically just have a, a giant run-up of money for this day here. We need to buy more chocolate cereal, I think. We need the items that do actually generate the money, because we don't actually have any. And we've got to stop stocking this candy. Like, it is a popular item, but my God, it breaks the AI so fast. Uh... All right, let's try and restock something ourselves. There actually isn't anything to restock. Maybe there's a, like a, a very, very low bag of tea. What, how many is in this? Oh, actually this might do. So what we actually need to do is, oh no, we still have four more. Bugger. I don't want to put it anywhere else as well because I know it's going to break the game. So we can't really dump anything. It's a shame this guy just dumps all of the resources out onto the ground. Okay, he is actually going to go collect that tea. Good. There's nothing else that we can do. We are completely out of salt, I think, because he's not restocking the... No, we're not. What the hell? This guy just refuses to restock that one last salt. He just stopped working. Wow. What a dick. Okay, cereal's too expensive. We'll drop the price of this one down to $5.80. Stimulate a few more sales. This guy's getting lots and lots of yogurt. That's absolutely fine. I think all the hair is absorbing the light. Yeah, I definitely agree, honestly. It's going to cost us heaps in power, I think, to actually have her in the store. Why is this guy not, um... Working? All right, we've got a couple more employees coming in. We've got Barack Obama and we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin, if he was skinny as hell. It's got a little bit of junk in the truck, but I don't really think it's anything to write home about. Okay, got some peanut butter coming. I, yeah, we're kind of, we're getting a little bit snowballed by the debt that we kind of find ourselves in. It was initially a very good idea, but I think the bugs with this candy have absolutely screwed us over. So maybe we just don't stock this anymore as a product. Maybe we just throw all this out. Because I don't think people can actually buy it. Hmm. Or maybe we just need more diversity. Maybe we need... Maybe the answer is actually to take out another loan. What are you looking for, bud? Rice basmati? Maybe we could stock that. It's a big item, though, so it doesn't fit on the shelves too well. What are you looking for? If everyone says basmati rice, I'm going to buy some. Okay, this guy wants aloe pasta spaghetti. Maybe we'll just start getting some of that. We'll take a look. Aloe pasta spaghetti. Which one is that? Is that the one at the bottom? No, it's the cheap crap. This one is Lister Pack Crew. That's not what we want. Yuck. All right, good. People are actually buying some things. The La Pipites appear to be a bit of a cash cow for us, which is pretty good. What is this lady buying? Lots of oil? That's fine. This guy is going to look for flour. Is it because we're not stocking enough essentials? I think it might be. Okay, the candy didn't bug this guy out this time. Thank the Lord. Maybe it's because we moved it. We did move it earlier. This one looks like it's going to be a big expensive shop. 42 bucks? 
Yes, please. We're almost out of debt now. We should probably start paying debt. Because we do have quite a bit of debt. I shudder to think what it is, though. Okay, let's take a look. Bank. Payments. Oh, actually, it's a thousand bucks less than it was. We've got 83 bucks in late payment fees. That's absolutely fine and dandy. I don't care whatsoever about that. So we've got two grand in debt. And I'm pretty sure that is just... Okay, we got yesterday. We got some in advance. That's pretty good. So if I take a look at the loan, I think that we're paying this one off now over time. 880 bucks. We probably aren't going to worry too much about the... Uh, oh, we probably should pay off the old ones. The ones that we've already missed. Because the late repayments are just going to be 12 bucks a day forever. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to catch up on. you got to get rid of that candy man. I know, it's breaking the game, isn't it? It's pretty ridiculous. All right, everyone is buying resources, though. It was, like, one of the items that people absolutely love, though. People were just buying heaps of it. Oh, my God, it's already broken one person who would ordinarily have bought something. What if we place it somewhere else? No, it's still broken. So it's the actual article that's breaking the game. It's not actually the, uh... It's not the shelf or anything like that, like I thought it was. That candy is absolutely just busted. It sucks, though, because that was the last license that we bought for sale. Okay, we're actually going to get rid of it. I'm going to go in here. We're going to take all of this candy. We're going to throw it straight in the bin. If we can't sell it, we don't want it, okay? Simple as that. I know it's a waste of money, but this stuff sucks ass. Just get rid of it. Get rid of the label. We're not going to restock it again. So we'll get all the uh, paying customers to pay for things. Every time this happens as well, the customer that like picked up the articles up off of the shelf, we lose those articles and they don't pay. It's basically an exploit where they get free things and we don't, just by like staying here after hours because we can't kick them out apparently. Uh, we need more cereal. We need more Chocopic cereal. Let's get more Chocopic cereal because we are completely out of it. It's going to cost us 90 bucks. That's perfect. And our restocking monkey should be restocking that. We also need a bunch of coffee as well, which we can't afford. But if we have it, we'll actually make money on it. That's going to cost us another 350 bucks or so. We can probably make that by the end of the day, I think. Oh, here he goes. He's actually going to be stocking out the cereal. Perfect. I'm glad we got two boxes of this. Actually, I'll probably go ahead and just get this other one, stock this one myself. Beautiful. We've only got one guy who's stuck at the moment, which is pretty damn good. Uh, we'll just kind of, like, sell off this candy as best as we can. And if we can't sell it off as best as we can, simple... Simple enough. Simple enough. We'll just get rid of the shelf. The entire shelf. I'm glad no one's buying it, though. I'm glad no one's buying the candy. Like, one customer getting stuck is fine, but having a billion customers get stuck, that's just annoying. Okay, good. I might... Uh, I should probably actually mention to the developers that this is a nasty bug in the game, and it seems to be crippling everything. It seems to be just this candy as well. It seems to not be anything else. Because it broke the chocolate. I thought the chocolate was the problem at some point. We aren't actually stocking any chocolate anywhere. Do we have chocolate? We should probably at least put it on the shelves if we haven't. No, we don't have any chocolate. I think we may have replaced the chocolate with this here bag of candy. Okay, people are still looking for oil. They're not going to find it, though. God, I got a hell of an itchy nose. I'll be right back. I'm going to go blow it. There's only so much scratching that I can do before I get sick of it myself. What did I miss? Was that the government? Did the government just come in? I'm pretty sure the government just came in. Okay, the government is in here. Gorgeous. Looks like uh, the Punisher has duplicated, which is probably not good for criminals around the city. Okay, what are these guys buying? Enough? Are they buying enough? Kind of. They're buying $20 loads. Oh, this guy's getting a heap. Wow, this guy's... Punisher, more like Punisher of his guts. He's going to be punishing his colon in a second. Look at this thing. Salt? Cereal? It's only 45 bucks though, honestly. Oh, this guy's got three bags of candy. Perfect. That's going to alleviate some of the stickiness of the NPCs. 
have we still got people walking in here after hours? I do kind of like that, actually. I do kind of like that you got to, like, an, a couple of free hours at the end of the day where there's, it's not timed or anything like that. It's just people come in, they finish their shop, and they gap it. Okay, I don't think that guy's coming in. All right. Enter. We end the day, and we despawn the Punisher. All right, what have we got? 269 buckery booze down to minus 21. Okay, so paying off that other loan is kind of like making a bit of an impact now. We're making probably around about 200 bucks a day. Probably need to make sure that all of our minimum storage is just met as well. Still only 300 for the coffee, the huge packs of coffee. In fact, why do that when we can actually just kind of get some interim coffee? All right, 100 bucks. We can't afford that just yet, but we will. We will afford that. Okay, we've got our first customers coming. I feel like because she's walking on a bit of an angle, she's about to enter the store. Let's see. No, she was actually keeping distance from our sign that just says, piss off. Which is fair enough. All right. This lady also is not interested in shopping at piss off. That's fine. I mean, it sucks to be them, but... You know, I'm not going to complain. Oh, it's closed. That's why. All right. <laughs> Let's open up the store. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that is so stupid of me. What about this guy? Are you going to shop and piss off? Nope. Looks like he can read. Oh, here we go. We've got Taylor Swift coming. Taylor Swift is now coming down the street. Yes, Taylor Swift lives here. Let's see. Can Taylor Swift leave? Read? Yes, she can. Okay, bye, Taylor. This guy can't read. Whoever this guy is. He looks like he owns a car that he's really proud of. And yet, at the same time, it's an absolute piece of garbage. Right? He kind of gives those vibes. Like, the muffler kind of sputters a bunch of liquids. He doesn't understand why, but he, he knows that that's what his car does. All right, what's he buying? Bunch of candy. That kind of reinforces exactly what I was saying about him. Okay, apparently the cereal is too expensive for this lady. She's looking real close. She can't find the coffee. Yeah. Oh, we've got eight cents. We are making profit. Can you believe that? Excellent. All right. All right, we've already broken an NPC. Perfect. Love that for us. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate this. That candy sucks ass. We're never going to stock that again. We'll stock the chocolate instead. The chocolate appears to actually have some good function. No one's ever got stuck on these bon papa or la pipites. Or the tea. I think some people are getting stuck on the cereal, but I'm pretty sure that was because it was like spaced across a a two shelf wide aisle and this has kind of alleviated what we were experiencing a little bit all right this lady's this guy is getting some bin -pa -pa. good we're restocking the oil lovely i think he just put one oil on the shelf and then went to throw out the box our employees suck all right what is this that's gonna be 50 bucks almost 50 bucks so close i mean i'll take it we need 100 for the coffee, and then the coffee is probably going to generate us enough money to keep us afloat for the next day as well. We should be able to pay off our loan pretty soon as well. That should be coming. Okay, good. We're at 93 buckery booze. We've got two stuck NPCs. Lovely. This lady is looking in an empty fridge for flour. Jesus, lady. She's got like a, an IQ of 60, I think. She's literally brain dead. She's physically capable, but she qualifies for a mobility parking card. You know, that kind of brain dead. All right, what have we got? We've got, in the market, 106 bucks to spend with some shipping as well, so 110 as a target we should aim for. Well, these guys are walking real slow. We've got three stuck NPCs. This guy with the leaky muffler. Oh, my God, what the hell? Seriously? Every time. Okay, I'm going to save... We're going to quit to desktop. We're going to reboot the game because I'm pretty sure that is actually the issue. I thought it was the gigantic uh, pile of boxes that we had in the previous session that was breaking the game. But as it turns out, that's actually not the case whatsoever. All right, I'm launching it again. It's a shame, but it has to be done, I think. It literally has to be done. I don't think we actually have a choice. Made on Unity. That is the issue. That's the issue. What if they just made it on Game Maker or something like that? All right, let's hit continue. And we'll fire back into the game that we just had. Minus all of these garbage NPCs all over the place. This should kind of like flush the cache of... I think how it works is there's an array of items that are kind of like registered on the shelves. 
And when more than one NPC claims one of those items in the array, then they start bugging out and they refuse to just pick it up entirely. I think that's basically how the bug goes. I mean, I did find a quick fix, but it's not, it's not bulletproof, it seems. Right, this guy's sauntering in like he owns the place just to buy some cups of yogurt. Wow, that's weird. Two cups of yogurt. That is all he wanted as well. What a guy. Thank you for the $3. What a dick. Okay, he couldn't find coffee dark roast. We're on the, we're literally in the process of buying it. Oh, perfect. This guy's buying the candy. Yes. What if we only have one shelf of the candy and one shelf of the chocolate? Because those two tend to bug the game out. Get rid of that shelf. Maybe we just dedicate this one exclusively to the candy. Maybe we're a bit quick to dismiss it. Maybe that's actually a strategy. We'll try it out. And if it bugs out the NPCs, oh my god, look at what this guy's buying. He's buying a bunch of candy. Do we sell anything healthy? I don't think we do. Aside from salt, which in large quantities, probably not healthy. Uh, this strawberry, strawberry flavored yogurt, probably not terribly healthy, but it does have pictures of fruit on it. Kind of hard to tell. All right, what's this lady going to buy? La pipi de? Bon dada? No, tea. That's fairly healthy. A lot of caffeine in it, though. You want to be careful of that, lady. Okay, she has taken it to the checkout. She's just buying a, a... She's probably the healthiest customer we've had in years, honestly. All right, good. She's holding her card up to the screen and not the PayWave machine, as is customary, and piss off. All right, good. Let's greet Obama with a nice piss off. Hello there, sir. Piss off. And we've also got a couple more customers here. Piss off. Uh, Colored Agent 47. Oh, I love that sign so much. That was worth the 250 bucks. Even if it almost bankrupted us. Okay, we can probably actually afford the coffee now. Let's go ahead and just buy that. Two boxes of coffee. Done. 100 bucks down the drain. I'm going to personally restock one of these as well. All right, let's jam this one right here. Very cash money. And I'll throw this into the bin. We'll grab this and then we'll stock right here. Excellent. So we are now stocking coffee. Go ahead and hit the lights before everybody becomes uh, virtually blind. This lady's getting cereal. Good for her. Probably should be getting a bit more cereal as well. I think we'll save up our money for now. We'll save up our money so that we are not in such a bad spot when we leave. Because we obviously have paid, we have bills to pay. We have lots and lots of bills to pay. Oh, this guy's finally restocking the salt. Are you serious? Why do we have such an oaf employed under us? If she takes three, okay. She just took the amount of salt that that guy just restocked. Wow. Okay, this lady's buying a bunch of crap. She can't find any ball light milk. Good for her. Okay, we are selling coffee immediately. Like, just straight off rip. Pretty good. This lady here with her delicious tramp stamp. I recognized her by face this time. Not necessarily by her tramp stamp. She got some coffee. Good for her. She's getting some bun papa. And probably some cereal. Yes, sir. She can afford that stuff. I wonder if that tramp stamp has anything to do with it. I'd say. I don't want to typecast all of my customers. I want to typecast my employees, though. He looks like an idiot. All right, we've got peanut butter being restocked. Perfect. It's a shame they can't, like, get items that kind of restock more on a single shelf. Like, they'd be so, so much nicer. Whoa, look at this. Look at this purchase. I was about to end the day as well. That was close. Okay, what have we got? 323, and this lady's getting two things. Got another guy coming in, apparently. All right, he's getting some cereal. Is that literally it? My dude! I can't believe this. Wow. All right, good. Go ahead and start the next day. And we are going to open as soon as possible right here. Okay, we're paying off our loan and our stuff automatically. We have one cent after yesterday's profit. What are the odds? Hey, it is still kind of like... It's still profit, right? We aren't, like, massively gimping ourselves by getting the negatives today. What are you doing, my dude? It's open. He's probably looking for a tailor for that shirt, honestly. Oh, 
look here. So we probably want to go ahead and buy some more cereal, don't we? But that is going to cost us a bit of money. Probably want four of each box. Okay, we'll get two twice. Done. Because this stuff it does generate money for us. A lot of money. What is this going to cost? 300 bucks. We'll make that. And we'll definitely make it back after we actually get ourselves the cereal. Because look, people are buying it. Okay, getting some bun papa. This guy's getting some salt. A lot of salt. What is he, a League of Legends player? Ah, got him. Okay, this guy right here is getting FA. That's fine, actually. I don't mind if people don't spend too much. What I do mind is people just buying all of our salt and that's it. Like nothing else, only salt. Okay, this guy's actually going to be buying quite a bit. Peanut butter's expensive. Have we got peanut butter to restock? I'm sure we got peanut butter. Yeah, we still got a bunch of peanut butter. Good. Okay, we definitely need more cereal now. The yogurt does not appear to be doing us any good anymore. I thought it was kind of like good just to get people into the store in the first place. But I don't think people are coming in here for the yogurts. I feel like we should be stocking flowers or some other like kind of essentials to get people into the store. Because then they're going to start buying other things as well. Let's go ahead, go into... Let's do that. Let's start stocking some essentials, like basmati rice. We'll get one of these and we'll just label all of these shelves with it. And we've also got some pasta here that we could probably also buy. Other than that, I don't think anybody else complains necessarily about any of the other stuff around the place, right? Okay, good. Probably don't want to start stocking that chocolate anymore either. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think they are any good. The candy and the chocolate, I don't think they're any good. Okay, we'll get rid of the... We can't get rid of these yet. If we had the coffee, we do have the coffee. We probably could have put it in a box and then just thrown it out, but we haven't done that. This guy might give us an in, though. No, he will not. Okay, we've got 157 buckery booze. We need... 340. 350. We need 350 bucks to get that minimum storage order. Okay, this guy is actually buying quite a significant portion of our stock, though. That was a good 40 bucks right there. Nice. Okay, so it seems to me people are not coming in here for the yoga. People are coming in here for the other things, which might not be amazing to us right now. Yeah, okay, I'm thinking we probably need to chop and change all the stuff we're selling. We're probably selling a lot of luxury goods. Whereas we don't necessarily need to be selling all of those luxury goods. Got milk? No, we don't got milk. We definitely don't got milk. That's probably something we should be stocking, though. Do we have room? No, we don't have room in the order. We could probably halve what we are buying so that we just restock the shelves. Okay, good. Halve that, halve that. We can afford this. Done. We got 50 bucks left. Let's go ahead and start stocking all of this stuff. We'll do this last one as kind of like essentials. I don't think we'll have like two rows of anything on there, though. Okay, and what's this? This is basmati rice. Good. I'm going to get all of this, and then I'm going to take all of this crap out of there, and we're going to throw it in the bin. We are never going to look at it again. And we'll remove that label right there. Why is oil down there? Oh, it's supposed to be there. I removed the wrong label. That's embarrassing. Okay, we'll go ahead and get a bottle of oil, I think, if we have any. No, we're out of oil as well. Okay, we'll get some milk. We'll get a couple of essentials. Where is the milk? Milk. Uh, people come in for bottled water as well. We'll get a couple of those. And we'll just label our shelves for now. When we get a bit of a run-up with money, we'll definitely restock everything, but we won't do it just yet. Okay, lots of water on the bottom. That is a whole pack right there. Done and dusted. Is it priced? Yes, it is. $2.70. Sure, why not? Will's got milk. And we'll stock this one here. And because it stacks the same as the water, we'll put another one on this side as well. Is it priced? Yes, it is. Good. Okay, perfect. So, uh, we probably want to start keeping milk and water in our storage as well. Let's go ahead and just get a couple of these boxes. They're pretty big boxes, so I don't think we'll get too much of them. Excellent. And now we want to put these in our storage racks. These are about as big as the cereal, so we'll stick them up top side there. One there. Let me put this here. Yes, that's milk. And we'll get the water up here. Done. 
and we'll put this one on the other side too. Done, dusted. Okay, we've got a couple of items that should attract people into the store. This guy just bought all of the pasta. And he's also getting some rice. Okay, that's fine. It's As long as he doesn't buy all of our stock, that's fine. Pasta and basmati. We probably want to keep that in the storage room as well. Where is it? Basmati. We'll get like two of them. And we also want pasta. The red bag stuff. Where is it? Right at the top here. Got it. Okay, so... We want to buy these. Done. We are still running pretty low on money. Let's turn the lights on so this guy can see. And we want to stick this in storage, don't we? Damn, these are some big boxes. Yuck. Yucky sized boxes, one might say. Ooh! I can only put 16 on a rack! Gross! Yuck! Okay, Basmati stacks well, though. Maybe we don't want to keep this pasta here. Maybe we want to start stocking something that kind of stacks better into the storage. Because it's already gone. It's already flowing off the shelves. All right, we're making quite a bit of money. We now actually do have a bit of money. We've got 179 bucks. I don't know how much of that is going to disappear in the next day or so. But it should be fine. All right, this guy better not be getting yogurt. Gorgeous. That's what I like to see. He's getting some more water. I think that's what he came in for, which means he's going to buy other things, which are expensive. Gorgeous. Okay, this is functional. I don't think the pasta is going to be the one, though, to be quite honest. Maybe there is another pasta that kind of, like, serves the market. There's basmati rice, there's candy, there's cake. Here we go. This one. No, there's only eight in a box. Okay, maybe that doesn't work. We'll see what... Okay, the store is closed. I want to see how big the box was before we committed to sticking that one in storage, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same size as the other one. Okay, I don't know why we'd check out right now. Whoa, we got 365 bucks! Nice, okay. So we've got a bit of money. We're actually going to be in the positives very, very shortly. Okay, this guy needed flour. Let's go ahead and add that to the list of things we need. So there's flour here. There is... I think this is the bougie stuff as well. Let's get a couple of these. Done. And we'll get that tomorrow. That should be it. Okay, good. We'll start worrying about the items that we're stockpiling as well tomorrow. We got 55 bucks after taxes. Excellent. We've got a lot of outgoings, though. Like, a lot of outgoings. All right, let's go ahead and open up the store. Now, we need to come back over here. What do we want to get? We want to get this farine flour, didn't we? Which is going to be 130 bucks. It isn't cheap. It isn't cheap to buy, but it isn't expensive to sell either. We could probably actually hike the prices up on that one. Get a real good go um, kind of like workflow going. Hello there, lady. I love the exposed cleavage today. Um... Are you trying to find a husband or something? Because you're not going to find one in here, believe me. <laughs> that is, This is the last place to be looking for love. What are you going to buy? Water. Oh, yes. Looks like you need to cool down. We should get like a cold shower in here for this lady right here. Just a bottle of water. Couldn't find chocolate bars. Yeah, I know. But she was able to leave the store. That's the thing, right? She was actually able to leave the store. She didn't find the chocolate bar, but she didn't get stuck here until uh, Purgatory claimed her soul. All right, good. That's 70 bucks already. Net 130 for this order? Yes, 130, including shipping. What are these guys buying? Not a hell of a lot, honestly. What's this guy restocking? Probably the water. Yes. Okay, good. This lady is buying basically just cakes. 20 bucks? Okay. I'm pretty happy with the amount of income that we have now. We probably still want to diversify most of our stocks. But to do so, we're probably going to have to uh, expand out our storage area. All right, good. This guy is actually coming out hot and heavy with this box. I love that. Awesome. Let's restock the milk. This guy's getting a bunch of stuff. Bunch of candy, bunch of rice. It's expensive. 38 bucks. Wow, that basmati rice is actually very, very premium. I love it. Okay, 150 bucks. That's more than enough. Let's go ahead and just buy this order right here. Done. Now we go and we stock it. Ah, they stack like ass. That's unexpected. Are these priced? Yes, they are. Good. Put that there and we'll start putting this into the back rooms over here, I suppose. Yuck. I hate how some of these boxes stack. Like, it is kind of revolting. Put that one there. Very good. 
Okay, this guy's getting all of our pasta. Never mind. I was completely wrong. Actually, he's getting a lot of stuff. Maybe this is the technique. Maybe we need essentials. I mean, it works. Oh my god, look at this lady's shop. We're pretty good on cereal as well. This is a good shop. Is she getting even more? We're about to find out. No. She's happy with this $50 shop. 138 bucks, baby! Good. Uh, what are we running low on? Probably... Bunpapa? And I think coffee. We're completely out of coffee. We need six packs of coffee. Where is the coffee? Right here. We'll get six of them. It's got... 330 bucks. We can definitely get that. What are you buying? About 20 bucks worth of stuff? I'm happy with that. I think this lady just took a bottle of water right after the, uh, our restock monkey actually restocked it. Which is pretty awesome as well. I love that. Love that for us. Eggs! Oh, that's a pretty obvious thing we should be selling. Okay, we'll go into the market. Eggs! Where should we get eggs from? Right here. Uh, we probably want a few packs of it, right? Alright, 441 bucks and we'll be able to get this order. Or maybe we'll just get enough coffee for now so that it's actually on the shelves because we're losing money by not having it. I'm doing it. Okay, 232. And also eggs. Alright, we'll get two packs of each. Good, we got eggs. We'll put the eggs there and there. Nice. We'll throw out this here box and then we'll start stockpiling eggs. Over here in... Yeah, we're out of room. Actually, we're completely out of room, which is probably good. Because I didn't buy any additional boxes of eggs. We can just stock these right here. Good. We'll get this uh, coffee as well, and we'll start stocking this immediately. While our stock monkey is also uh, restocking it. Perfect. So, what else we got? We probably definitely need more bun papa. Unless we've got heaps of it. No, we're completely out of it. We need more bun papa. Should probably focus on paying off our loan first. The bumper bar is uh, not much of a cash cow. And it's not even really an essential, to be honest. Okay, here we go. People are actually buying the eggs. Eggs are kind of expensive. They're four bucks, whereas bun papa is definitely two dollars. There's la pipita, they're four dollars thirty, which is pretty nice. I don't think anybody's coming here for the bun papa. Maybe we want to stop stocking the bun papa and we want to just stock eggs in its place. That'd be a good idea, actually. Let's do that. I mean, it stacks into a bigger amount as well. Okay, we could spend lots on eggs. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, we didn't buy anything. Let's go ahead and buy this for 60 bucks. Sure. Now we want to take these eggs and throw them into here. Good. We don't want to refrigerate them. Why would we refrigerate eggs? That is disgusting. Okay, eggs are an essential and they stack well. That is a good balance. I feel like we're going to get a lot of people coming over the eggs. All right, it's going in for the peanut butter. Nice. Uh, we're making quite a bit of money now. I don't know what changed, but something's changed. Oh, poor baby. That guy couldn't find any cheese. Sucks to be him. Okay, what else is there? This guy's getting a couple of really cheap items for $3.50. Wow. Tea and yogurt, weird combination. I'm not going to judge. Except verbally and right to his face. Oh my God, look at this guy's shop. Let's look at it better through the uh, through the eyes of someone who can see. Whoa, this guy's got a lot of stuff. 66 bucks. Now, that's what I call a shop. Okay, we've got three bottles of yogurt. That is uh, just dirt cheap. So, these aren't actually attracting people into the store. I think we may not want to sell the yogurt anymore. It is a small ticket item, and it doesn't really appear to be doing any good for us. Okay, so I've got a bit of a goal. We're going to be a little bit frugal, and what we're going to do with that frugality is we are going to invest in a rather expensive uh, license to be able to sell meats and stuff, because they stack really well and can sell them for an absolute truckload. What are you restocking? Eggs? Milk. Good choice. All right, that's all of our milk basically done and dusted. Here we go, Stone Cold Steve Austin with the shiniest head in the world. Is he getting coffee? Yeah, it makes sense. All right, we've got some more pasta that needs to be restocked. Probably do that now. What do you need? He's looking for olive oil. Oh, we're completely out of olive oil. I completely missed that. Okay, so we need more flour. We'll get like 
two boxes of this. No, we'll get four boxes of this. Done. And we also need pasta. Two boxes of it. Three boxes of it. Sure. Whoops, there's probably too many. Yeah, there's too many of them. We'll only get three boxes of that. And we also want to get ourselves some more of that olive oil, don't we? The stuff right here. We'll just fill out the rest of the order with it. Beautiful. We got 520 bucks. That feels great. Okay, we were going bankrupt for a little bit, but I feel like we've turned it around. Let's go ahead and go to the next day. Nice. We'll immediately open the store because we don't have a choice. We'll go in here. We'll go ahead and we'll buy this. Damn it. We are literally just shy of being able to buy it. I can wait. I can wait. We only need a couple of sales. We only need a couple of people to mistake piss off for a supermarket store, go in there, buy things, and then we should be golden. Can I jump on the bin? I can. I am trash. I am literally trash. What are you restocking, my dude? Ah, the milk. Good choice. We probably want to uh, rush this storage right here as well. Because quite frankly, we are not particularly doing very well in the efficiency side of the storage. All right, this guy's going to get a bunch of cereal. Nice. I was hoping he'd buy, like, the entire rack of, of cereal, but I think that was... Probably just a, a pipe dream, honestly. All right, two boxes of cereal. It's still 18 bucks. Still not bad. Couldn't find bun papa cakes. Yeah, we're probably going to stop selling them, honestly. All right, good. Let's actually get these labels off right here. And if my stocking monkey could move, that one too. Whoa, this lady's buying a lot of cereal. What is that? 56 bucks. Jesus, lady. Thank you very much. Love that. Uh, we also need lots of peanut butter too, don't we? Because we're probably low on peanut butter. Whoops. Where is the peanut butter? Uh, we don't have... What the hell is this guy doing? He's trying to stack flour where it's not supposed to be. Uh, we don't want this guy to use empty shelves, actually. Let's go ahead and hit this little note in the management section of hiring. We don't want him to use unlabeled racks. Because then he'll just congest all of this up with a bunch of crap. Okay, so we've got 24 peanut butters, so we don't actually need any more peanut butter, which is pretty good. I'll go ahead and I'll restock all of this here pasta. And I'll put this in the bin. What is this? That's also pasta. That can go down into storage. What is this? This is oil. That definitely needs to go on the shelves. Probably ran out of it because we weren't stocking two shelves worth of it. What else we got? Flour. That can definitely go over here into storage right there and this is more flour throw that over that way and this one can go over there too done nice okay so we have one spare shelf oh, apparently the tea is too expensive i don't particularly care we do have this here spare shelf that we could use to put in another article what that's going to be is going to be another question entirely we'll really take a look at the market and just see Damn, I just woke up from an unhinged nightmare. You were still going strong on the live stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still going strong. I'm a streamer. I'm a streamer. I love doing it. Uh, we could probably get the spaghetti right here. It doesn't stack very well, but it's not cheap. For the consumer, we could probably get a bunch of these. Maybe two of them. We'll add them to the cart. We will just dump them onto the sidewalk over here. I know what they look like. Oh, these stack well, actually. Okay, we definitely want to start stocking the spaghetti. One there. Oh, no, they don't stack well, actually. They stack like absolute ass. And this one can go up here because it's an essential. Okay, done. I'm pretty sure we set the price for that as well. We've got a bunch of boxes all over the street. That's essentially what... Oh, my God, $6 each. Those are nice. What are these? What's that supposed to be? Basmati rice. We could probably actually do with just getting more of that. Right here. We'll get two, four boxes of it. Done. Purchased. We've got $8.49. But we are making lots of sales. We're making lots of sales. Probably need to get more cereal now at this point. Yeah, we definitely need more cereals, milk, and water. So probably two of each. Two cereals, two milks, two water. All right, uh, two cereals. Should be one down here. Where is it? Chocolate pick, right here. And cereal and milk and water. How much is this going to cost? 188 bucks? Okay, I can do that. I'm glad delivery's instant, because without that, we'd probably be bankrupt by now. 
Okay, the government and the richest man on the planet is right here to buy from us. $9.70, thank you very much. The government's actually buying a lot this time. Maybe they printed more money. Good for them. Good for them. All right, Cleavage Lady is in the store now too. This guy's just getting a bunch of beverages. Oh, he's getting some flour as well. Maybe I shouldn't be judgmental. I, sh I probably shouldn't judge somebody based on their um, drink tastes, right? Okay, good. This lady's getting some yogurt. Probably don't want to stock the yogurt anymore. Let's be real. It doesn't actually do anything and it congests the line. For $1.50 per item, it's not amazing. What's the markup on it, actually? The markup is... Oh, that is a crap yield. Oh, we can actually sell them for about two bucks, though. We were just selling them really cheap for some reason. Maybe the prices went up. Maybe they went down. Maybe the manufacturers uh, kind of like put a choke on the market to artificially inflate the value of it. Hard to tell sometimes. I've got three bottles of, of water. Thank you very much. Uh, you can piss off now, sir. All right, we got this guy with his weird undercut. And we also got the Punisher who managed to sneak around me. What did he get? 15 bucks? Nice. We've got 342 bucks in our back pocket. I'm not going to spend it just yet. We definitely need to lower the prices of this peanut butter though, right? Like five bucks, done. And we probably also need to get more of the cereal probably sooner than later. All right, let's turn this light on right here. Even though we can't afford to do so. What are you restocking? Water? It better be water. Okay, good. I was about to bust a hernia if he was going to restock the three uh, milks that we don't have. Okay, we should probably actually just buy it now, right? Because we can afford to do so. And if we don't have the items, we can't sell it. All right, just build all over the street. That's absolutely fine. I'll throw all of this over here to kind of like alleviate the amount of space that he has to walk. Uh, that is cereal. That is water. Good. That is water. Throw that over there. That's also cereal. Let's go ahead and put this on the empty shelf. Because if you don't stock it, you don't sell it. Simple as that. And this one is some of the crunchy honey nut ones. Oh, good. He's already on it. I'll do this top one. Nice. Uh, what is this? This is flour that can go over there by the storage too. And we've got some basmati rice, which isn't exactly empty, but we'll just restock it regardless. And we'll throw that down there. Done. It's almost closing time. Oh, man. People are grabbing these yogurts like crazy. But let's actually hike this up to $2.50. See what happens. Oh, it's too expensive. All right. How about $2.20? That's a nice compromise. Oh, I thought someone was going to buy it, but it was actually this guy restocking the single bottles of water. Okay, this guy's getting a bunch of salt. Ah, my nose is letting me down. I don't know why it gets so itchy. Maybe because we're, like, coming into the warm weather back in New Zealand again. We're kind of leaving the, the cold of winter behind. What about the salt? Is that expensive enough? No. $2.80. Another 20 cents. People buy them in threes anyway, so... That's going to actually make a bit of a difference. Okay, we should probably uh, press enter to finish the day. But I kind of want the restocking monkey to actually perform his duties. And we've also got someone who's still shopping. I completely missed that. What are you going to buy? Eggs? Good choice. Get as many of those as you can. They're expensive. Oh, yes. Get the expensive stuff on here as well. I'm surprised she can reach that top shelf. she got three boxes of this. She really likes her spaghetti, it seems. And her flour and her water. Maybe her sinks are busted. Maybe her sinks are busted, and that's why she's getting so much of that water. Okay, the restock monkey is uh, too busy holding something. What is that? Uh, management. We want to tell him to stop working and then to start. Why'd you get stuck, my dude? Why were you stuck? What are you restocking? Okay, what a dick. I don't know what he was doing is this that is supreme flour do we not have storage for this maybe we don't maybe we actually don't have storage for this let's go ahead and take a look no we do actually it's right there we do have storage for it okay this guy's just being a bit of a princess all right let's start the next day nice what have we got with what do we got left 129 bucks okay we are definitely making a profit I think we should probably just do the sprint, right? We should do the sprint for the loan and then not worry too much about anything else. 
Because if we can make two grand today, then we can make two grand tomorrow. Which would give us the license to sell meats and such. Okay, so... I'll take a look at my bank. What have we got? So, early payoff amount, 480 bucks. We should, we should actually do this. We should definitely pay this off early. Because it is crippling us. It is absolutely crippling us. We need people coming here. We need them to buy a bunch of stuff. Hello there, sir. Hope you enjoy pasta. Because that is what you just put in your bag. We might be getting low on la pipite as well. Okay, good. That is that empty. Is Chocopic actually too expensive now? 8.5? Sure. Done. Okay. What are you going to buy? Quite a bunch of stuff, actually. Oh, those yogurts are now making uh, a bit of bank. Okay, we definitely want to start stocking those yogurts. Probably more so than we were now. Water's down and flowers up today. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Because they usually go hand in hand. Usually flowers useless without water. Unless you're just munching down on, on, on a bunch of ground grain. All right, what's this guy buying? A pasta. Nice. We got him in the door with that. And what else is he going to buy? Peanut butter? Cereal? Buy the cereal. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's getting so much cereal. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Oh, people are getting a lot of cereal. Beautiful. The racks are full in storage. Why did you pick that up then? It's the same thing you just picked up, you oaf. What a dick. Okay, we're going to go ahead and under management, we're going to tell him to stop working and then work. What an asshole. All right, what's he doing now? He's made a mess as well. Okay, we'll throw this into there. Can we rack this? Yeah, we can rack this, actually. Let's go ahead and just put this up top there. What else we got? We got... Hmm. We got two of these half-filled boxes, which is a bit of a pain. Hmm. Unless somebody buys a bunch of this flour all at once. Like now, please? No. He's getting spaghetti. All right, fine. You and your weird low-poly character model. Watch me here. Maybe we need multiple racks for some of these essentials. Because they are big items. They kind of, like, do choke everything up. All right, let's check out this water. What does it cost? Ah, uh, we're still actually over, overcharging for it, which is probably not amazing, but people are still buying it. Idiots. That's a $30 transaction right there. We are so close to paying off this loan. What did we need? Was it 600 480 So 480 bucks, and we are debt-free from the loans. All we have to do is pay all of the overdue uh, rent and stuff like that. And then we'll be able to start getting that, uh, working towards that license. We'll start saving towards the license. I feel like one auto checkout is also very, very good. I feel like this completely automates the entire process. You don't really need any more than this because you don't have any more people coming into the supermarket. If we had more diversity in the stock, I, I imagine more people would be standing at this checkout for longer. But that's not necessarily the case. Oh, we are so close. Oh, have we got it? Is that it? Yes! Done! Okay, we've paid it off early. Done. Now we are making the sprint to two grand. Then we'll buy the license for meats. Once we have the license for meats, we're going to make so much money. It's going to be absolutely insane. We might even be able to customize our store further than this uh, delightful sign that we've got here. Okay. Excellent. This lady is buying some oil. Good. It's good for rubbing on yourself, you know. Excellent social lubricant. Well, look at this. 20 bucks. Three bottles of oil. That's pretty good. Uh, we're pretty low on peanut butter. I hope this guy is going to restock it. Do we have peanut butter? Yeah, we got peanut butter. Okay, let's restock the peanut butter while that guy faffs around and does literally nothing for a living. I'm paying him 90 bucks a day to do absolutely nothing. Although, to be fair, he doesn't go home. <laughs> he doesn't go home. So he is our slave for 90 bucks a day. Okay, we're at 228 buckery booze now. We probably want to start maybe getting some more minimum... Storage, like coffee, we could probably do with getting a big load of this. Four boxes for 170 bucks. Yes, it makes a lot of money. This is incredibly calming for some reason. Thank you. No worries, Easter lamb. Sometimes it's nice just to see somebody in a simulated environment uh, figure out a job without any training whatsoever, which coincidentally is how I had all of my jobs. I never really got any training, even when I was working security. Crazy. Maybe that's just how New Zealand's run, though. Wow. I think the satisfying thing is seeing an absolute mess right at the start, and then it fixes over time. Because we were basically going bankrupt. We took off two loans at the end of the last session, 
And now we don't have either of those loans kind of weighing us down. We were in a bit of a doom loop with that. We, we kind of had to play strategically. All right, let's start restocking this coffee so that people can actually buy it. Then I'm going to throw this in the doorway so that our monkey can go and grab that. Good. Excellent. Yeah, I've always kind of like, I've done a bit of a toss-up. It's always been a coin flip for me on whether or not I should be playing relaxing games or just like simulator games because I love them so much and it doesn't really matter what we're doing. I can always just talk out my ass. I, I was thinking maybe I could become, like, sips but hot. <laughs> you know how he plays these kind of, like, these simulator games that are just intentionally frustrating? And that's the core gameplay loop? Oh, yoga's too expensive. Maybe we should change the price. No, we should not. It's pretty good. It's a good price. Someone can afford it. Doesn't really matter if anyone else can't afford it. Uh, we're losing the essentials, though, so we won't be getting as many people in the door, I don't think. Unless we got uh, What's My Dingle over here... To start restocking the essentials. He's not even touching this flower. Where's the flower? Yeah, it's real low. In fact, we're almost out of it. Okay, I'll start restocking with the spear box that uh, gets the NPC stuck. Let's go ahead and restock that. And I'll take a look in another box and see if it's full or not. Now, there's only one bag of flour in this box. Why the hell did he even put it back? Just throw it out, my dude. Just throw it out at that point. Okay, coffee is doing pretty well. I'm just going to throw that there. Can we put this on the shelf? All right, good. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, okay, I don't know if the NPC is going to break when they come across this box on the shelf right here, but that's a pretty good way of kind of like hinting at the NPC to just fill a shelf back up. Maybe we could just like fill up all of our empty racks uh, like that. Okay, we're almost at 500 buckery booze. This guy is going to spend a billion years checking himself out. Better him than me, though. All right, look at him go. And what did that cost? 45 bucks. That's bugger all, actually. That's not, that's not a hell of a lot. Okay. So we're almost at level 22, which means we can almost actually get another restocker. Which should probably solve all of our problems, because we basically have one guy full-time putting things into the restock room from the road... And the other guy would just constantly be restocking these shelves and we could probably maintain a higher amount of turnover at that point as well. She did a 67 cost. That was a, a crazy shop. She, she just spent seven, 67 bucks. It's probably the highest one I've seen. Ah, this guy's got a weird frame. It's probably all the milk that he's drinking. We've also got some pippy dares on the belt for him as well. Oh, he's also getting some eggs. He's a gains goblin. He looks like this because he only does backs and obliques at the gym. And he's really good at them too. He's just really bad at everything else. Maybe hip thrusts as well. Okay, so milk is not really a big ticket item. We could probably look at the price of it. $2.50? We could actually sell it for about $3.30, I'd say, with the market price of... Not 33 bucks. Good grief, my dude. 3 point... Whoops. 0.3. Okay, that should do. Excellent. Uh, is the monkey doing anything? Yes, he is restocking something. We'll wait for him to finish before we kind of commit to whatever we are going to buy next. We've almost got 700 bucks, which is pretty crazy. But we do need to take a look in the storeroom. We'll turn this light off right here because we are not open anymore. No one's going to be buying anything. And we'll take a look in the storeroom. What is this? Whoa, okay, that was weird. Okay, we need basically everything. Oh, no. We've actually got enough for now, though. We've got a lot of teas. We've got a lot of yogurts. Yogurts, uh, strangely, are becoming a bit of a cash cow. Uh, why do we have so much? Why do we have two racks of yogurt? No. No. For what it's worth, I like watching you play these types of games. Helps the anxiety, if, even if I'm sleeping half the time. Okay, I'll play more of these games. I really like these games. Honestly, they're a bit of a guilty pleasure. Hi, Trenere. I didn't think people were going to want to watch me play that on YouTube, and yet people keep turning up to see what I'm doing in Hydrania. And we've even got really, really good at it. Uh, we're at the point now we're in the DLC of Hydrania as well, which there's no documentation for out on the internet, so it's just been kind of like me and chat figuring it all out as we go along. And I've got a very, very high threshold for frustration, so we've been figuring it out very, very, very fast. Whoa, we've got 400 bucks at the start of the day. Then the last time that's happened. I can't. I literally can't. Okay, we'll get more cereal, because I think we need another, like, three boxes of each cereal. Maybe, like, that and this chunky chibi or something like that. That's going to be 191 bucks straight off. Rip. And what else do we need? 
Probably don't need a lot of peanut butter. Probably need more oil. Right? It's a fairly lucrative market, and we're completely out of it as well. So we definitely need more oil. Okay. Oil! Olive oil right here. Let's just pack out the order with it, and I bought it. We got 56 bucks left. Okay, good. I'll go ahead and I'll start stocking this oil because I know that we can empty a box worth. Done. I'll throw that at the trash because I'm lazy. What else we got? Crispy chibi. Yep, we'll stock this. Apparently it's too expensive. I couldn't really give two hoots, to be honest. And we got the chocobic right here, which is a fan favorite. It's also more expensive, hilariously. Okay, good. Now we throw this on the ground. Good. We should probably start investing our money before we go for the meats. We should start investing our money in something a little bit more brazen. Bold and brazen, which is probably going to be something along the lines of storage. We probably want to expand out the storage room so that we've got the door. So this guy isn't wasting his time repeatedly just going in and outside. I bet whoever lives up here is getting real pissed off. Oh my god. I could... Has anyone seen season three of Fargo? I couldn't unsee this. The giant vent falling out of the... You know, the, it pancaked that guy. I had to go back. I almost missed it. I had to literally rewind what I was watching. It blew me away. That was a hell of a, a special effect. Loved it. I think that was my favorite season of Fargo, honestly. I don't know what anybody else is uh, kind of like watching these days, but every now and then I'll, I'll binge Fargo in a single setting, and I love it so much. Love it so, so much. Minnesota and kind of like gangster stuff. It's comical. Actually, the first two seasons were awesome as well, just in different ways. It's kind of like a, a slice of life. Man, we're out of everything now. Okay. Eggs, peanut butter, pasta. Or do we just want to expand out? No, we definitely need to get all of these things first. Okay, eggs, peanut butter, pasta. We need eggs, peanut butter, pasta. Eggs, peanut butter, pasta. Eggs are here. We'll get two, four boxes of it. Peanut butter is right here. And pasta. Where is the pasta? Is it here? Yes. And we'll get a, a couple of these. That is all of our money gone, unfortunately. We've got $2.81 left. What is this? Chocopic? Okay, can't restock that. This guy knows what's up. This guy actually knows what's in the storerooms. We don't really know what's in the storerooms. So I feel like the gameplay loop is eventually going to turn into essentially us running from the storage to the computer. We could actually maybe put this in storage. Could we? Oh, we can. Nice. Okay, that solves a bit of problems. Gorgeous. Okay. We will get the eggs, peanut butter. We got the eggs, peanut butter. We got the flour. We got the... No, we didn't get the flour. We got the pasta. We need two boxes of flour. Okay, let's get that. Two boxes of this, not four boxes. Nope, definitely four boxes, actually. Now that I think about it, no. Two boxes. Two boxes. We won't... Here's the thing, right? Pigs get greedy. Hogs get slaughtered. We don't want to get slaughtered. We also need more of that crap pasta from right at the top here. Three of them? Sure. That'll do the trick. That should be fine, and we're not going to have that restock for a while yet. In fact, we could probably do that ourselves while the monkey is going ahead and uh, stocking our actual shelves. Okay, pasta goes here, and we got another one in here that can go right there. Good, and more spaghetti. Perfect. It can go there. What is this? Chocolate pick. Okay, we don't. I don't think we've got room for this. No, we definitely have room for this. Let's just whack that there. What is this? This is flour. Okay, let's go ahead and stock that there. Nice. Got more chalk pick. Let's go ahead and put that on the rack. Gorgeous. And we've got more of this oil, which we don't have any of, so we definitely need to start stocking that in the shelves here and here. We've got more chalk pick. That's unfortunate. In fact, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw that there. We're going to take this one because it's half empty. Throw it up there, and we'll put this one right there. And he should take from that one first if he's not dumb as a brick. All right, where are the eggs going? Right there. Okay, we got peanut butter. That goes here. We got more eggs. That goes here. We got more peanut butter. Good. That goes here. We got more peanut butter. Excellent. That goes there. And we got more of this here. Chubby chibi or something like that. Crispy chibi. Got some oil. That goes there. Nice. And we've got some more chocolate pick, which is the half-empty box, I think. Let's 
go ahead and just jam that on the shelf right there. Excellent. Okay, everything is coming up as we wanted to. We probably want more yogurt. Do we have more yogurt? I don't think we have more yogurt. I think we've got almost too much yogurt. Yeah, we've got too much yogurt. And there's another box of yogurt right here as well. Yeah, we can't put that there. Hmm. I wonder if we can just, like, empty this box up here. Probably not, but we will make a bit of a dent in the box that we are currently holding. All right, we'll put that up there. Good. Let's go ahead and turn these lights on for everybody. We got 400 bucks. Good. Now we can start thinking about what else we don't have, which is going to primarily be the basmati rice. Let's go ahead and get some of that. Rice basmati. We'll get three boxes of it. And what else do we need? Probably need a lot of coffee. We need a lot of peanut butter. I uh, can't see what that is. That is... I think those are the cakes. Bondari or something like that. Bon papa. Okay, we'll get six of those. Oh, sorry. We are getting bon papa. I don't think we actually want to stock those, though. We probably instead want to stock the other ones. What are they? The cakes. We just want to stock cakes. Okay, get rid of bon papa because it seems to glitch out the AI. We'll get six boxes of these. And Done. We're really close to the point at which we can't buy anything, so let's just go ahead and purchase this. And we'll start stocking all of this. This stocks well. Actually, I do like that one down there, the basmati rice. That stocks really, really well. Okay, this goes up here. We probably didn't actually need this. This lapipite. We probably had enough. To be realistic. Okay, we got some basmati rice. Nice. I like how it stacks. I know there's uh, bugger all in a box, but it stacks really, really nicely. Okay, good. Running low on eggs. That's a future problem, I would say. We got too much of these lapipites. Throw that there. What are these? Lapipite. Are you restocking lapipite? Oh, we actually have an entirely empty shelf right here for the lapipite. Good, done. And I'm going to go ahead and just try and empty this box as best as I can as well. Okay, and we'll leave that one on that shelf right there. Awesome. Good. Okay, so we still got 306 bucks. We're actually making money about as fast as we can spend it now, as long as we just kind of, like, keep this workflow going. This guy's buying a heap of stuff. What is he spending? 46, 55, 59 bucks. Nice. Love that. Love that for us. Okay, so not a hell of a lot else for us to be doing. We are kind of managing these stock rooms ourselves. This guy's definitely restocking everything that we need him to restock. Should probably get ourselves some more milk. I think that might be the last of it. Do we have any more? No, we don't. We need two milks, two waters. So two milk, two waters, and we'll buy that tomorrow. All right, that guy's off to restock. Good. Let's start the next day. Open up the store, and we'll come straight in here. We'll buy all of these resources, please. Good. Purchase. Done. We got 50 bucks after all of that. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's better than having your negatives. We haven't been paying our bills either, which maybe is kind of like going to cost us in the, in the long run. But for now, we are still doing really well. Uh, I wanted to put that up there, remove that label, of course. This one can go up there as well. We should probably go ahead and pay rent, right? Management. Bills. Oof. Actually, this isn't so bad. It seems like we're actually paying them off at the end of the day. We don't have to be on this screen whatsoever. Okay, let's go into the bank and see our debts. There is a... Wow. Oh my god. There's a repayment that we have not paid... So these must be kind of like defaults. We must have defaulted on these. We still have 600 bucks of debt left to pay. But we don't have any loans. Okay, maybe it's because we didn't actually pay off the loan when we had the money. Or we went into arrears. Uh, regardless, we are still making bank. This one is going to cost you around about 40 bucks. Nice. That's what I like to see. Now, if we do get the... We could take out another loan. Here's the thing. If we take out another loan, we could use that money to buy the license, but then we'd have our pants basically down at our ankles for when we want to buy the meats because they cost hundreds of dollars as well. 
So we probably don't necessarily want to do it that way, do we? Have we got enough peanut butter? Oh, this guy's actually coming in to restock it. Good man. A literal hero. Okay, good. What are you getting, my dude? He's just looking around. What do you see? He's looking for powdered sugar. We could probably do with selling some powdered sugar. I mean, it's, it's not that hard to stock. Yeah, let's do that, actually. So we'll start stocking some powdered sugar, and then we'll mark it up massively just to get people in the store. Where is it? Here, yeah, this. So let's go ahead and get four boxes of this. It's going to cost us 70 buckery booze, but that's absolutely fine. Because I am in a very good spot to pay it off. Uh, let's put this here. Now, this uh, triple stacks, I think. Good. We're going to take a look at that price really quickly as well. Three bucks. It's worth $6.50. Oh, my God. That is a cash cow. I don't think I have ever seen such a lucrative cash cow. Okay, we need to start stocking this up here. Put that there. Put that there. I think we'll only do one little rack of the powdered sugar. Because we don't want to overwhelm ourselves. What are you restocking? Milk? Yep. Okay, awesome. So I'm thinking maybe it would be better for us to kind of like expand out the storeroom now. Because we want to basically rush this door to being open. I think it's going to cost around about 400 bucks initially. So if I go into the management screen and we take a look at the storage. 800, right here. Yeah, so if we get this, 800 bucks, that is pretty expensive. I do think it would be worth it though. I definitely think it would be worth it. Maybe we do want two racks of powdered sugar. Let's just go ahead and stick this one down so it's not on the street. Because as soon as it rains, that is worth nothing. What is in here? What is in here? Yogurt. Okay. We definitely want this yogurt. I'm going to restock this. Can't restock that. Let's throw that up on the rack there. What is this? La pipite. Okay. Done that as well. That's going to save our dickhead a trip. Good. I was hoping it wasn't carrying either of those things that we just said that we can restock ourselves. Okay, that's basmati rice. That's easy to stock. This pasta is annoying. The boxes for it are huge. We probably are actually going to have to just expand out our storage and then just get entire racks dedicated to some of those essentials. Because the boxes are almost too big. Hey there. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. How are we today? I'm going to have to stop doing that for a bit. <laughs> I've got a tummy ache and I definitely need access to my diaphragm to be able to do that noise. Uh, how did I say it? Was it uh, Kex Urna? Is that it? I think it was. You gave me a tutorial earlier, but uh, I have memory issues. All right, we've got a full load of peanut butter. Oh, this guy's already on it. Nice. Okay, we're pretty damn close to our $800 goal, which is pretty awesome. Which means we're actually managing the supermarket into a profit. I love this so much. Doing how about you? I'm doing great. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Kicks it up? Yeah, like that? Okay, good. Excellent. I slammed two coffees this morning and it gave me a tummy ache and it, I haven't shaken it off yet. So unfortunately, no more death, no more death core growls until, until that is basically absolved of me. We need more eggs. You know, I've been great. Uh, it's been an awesome day, awesome week. All of my friends are finally actually turning around. They've been having really, really bad few months recently across the last winter, but uh, all of them are now getting significantly happier than they were before. Doing good? How did I forget to say that? It happens. I like, uh, oh, I probably mentioned I dated a German for a, for a number of years. So there's a lot of, like, uh, German and French dialects that they ended up uh, kind of, like, bringing on over here and inducting into my Kiwi lifestyle. One of my favourite ever phrases was from my German ex-girlfriend, and it was supposed to be French. And it was, it's not the yellow of the egg, but it goes. I love that so much. That is such a funny phrase. I've heard it from a couple of French people as well. I don't know if it's like a regional thing, but it's, it's just one of the funniest um, idioms that I've heard. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the lights on so that we can see what we're doing. We've got 800 bucks. I think that we spend this while we've got it. That would probably be a really, really good idea. How about we do that right this second on expanding out this room. Boom. Okay, did that do it? No, it just made it longer. So we need the next one to be able to... We need the next upgrade to be able to uh, access it from inside the store. 
which is going to be 1200 bucks. So we could take out the loan to do this. I don't think it's necessary. The only reason we are doing this is so that we can get the other uh, restock monkey in here. We need a few more shelving units as well. Okay, this guy is standing in the way. Put that there. Take this one. Put it there. I wanted to learn German, but learned Russian instead. I learned a little bit of Russian. I learned how to read Cyrillic. I don't know what the words mean, though. I never got that far. And I don't have any Russian friends, so... You know. Kind of form meets function with this instance. That looks okay. What the hell is that? Is that supposed to be our sign? What is this? This is a reflection of something. I don't know what it's reflecting. Is it reflect? Where'd it go? Hello? That was weird. Don't know if I like that. Okay, this guy couldn't find cheese. It's because we don't sell it, my dude. We still have 300 bucks at the end of the day. That's also pretty damn decent. Uh, what do we have, though? Ah, 12 bucks. Okay, so we're not in arrears, which means we are paying off all our bills on time. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and open the store because we keep forgetting to do so. Maybe we want to start stocking the cheese. There's only nine in a box, though. It doesn't stock very well. Okay, we're definitely out of a few things. We're out of the uh, crap pasta and we're after the white box of pasta as well. So let's go to the market here. We need four bags of the crap pasta. We need four of the good pasta. And we're going to need a couple of sales to stimulate this. What else do we need? Probably a few things, actually. We need coffee. We need two stacks of coffee. Let's go ahead and top off our order with two stacks of coffee. Okay, what is this going to cost? This is going to cost us 220 buckery booze. That's fine. We'll make that pretty quickly, I think, so long as we just kind of, like, aren't running out of things as we use them. What's this? La pipi dip. Good. That box is empty. We can keep it off the rack. And we've also got some yogurt. Did this guy restock it? I think he may have. Okay, we'll keep that back up. Nope. We don't want to throw the yogurt all over the ground. We want to keep it on that shelf right there. Ah. <sighs> What the hell? YouTube's decided to take 6 gigabytes of RAM and 90% CPU usage? I had that before, actually. I don't know what caused it, but usually refreshing the page helped me. It was on Firefox, almost exclusively for me. A bit of a, a, bit of a pain in the ass, actually, every time it happens. All right, what else do we need? We need tea. We're actually surprisingly low on tea for once. So we're probably going to play catch up for a little bit here. And then once we've kind of caught up on everything, then we are going to be worrying about whether or not we have the facilities to accommodate another stockpile monkey because we still need 90 bucks a day to sustain that, which means we're going to need another license at some point as well. Weird. Usually we meet the requirements really, really quickly for something and then we don't meet any requirements after that. Are we still... Is this self-checkout actually giving us the requirements for the... Uh, for the checkout people. Hiring, right here. No, no it is not. It does not count. We need to check out 1,750 people to unlock the cashier for. I think piss on that. Piss on that. I think we just go with automation this whole time, this whole game. And now it just freezes my page and gave me an error, ran out of, ran out of memory. Maybe a six a weekly. Maybe you got wiggly sticks. I don't think that's ever been a problem for me, but it's always something to consider. Although I can tell you for a fact, I formally studied IT. So finding why an application is giving you error messages at a hardware level is one of the most frustrating things that you can try and diagnose. In fact, I can summarize it with a single meme. Usually a programmer will sit there for about 80 hours programming a single script and then uh, they'll run it and something will pop up and it'll crash and they'll be like, thank God, it starts. That's usually the meme of it. I'm going to try to Google it. Yeah, that's what most IT people do in the end anyway. There's nothing new under the sun. If the Romans had a word for it, chances are it's probably true now. Except for, uh... oh no, Romans were Christianized at some point, weren't they? So they probably also had the phrase, uh, women must not speak out against their, their men, their husband. Uh, that that might not be a um, that might that might not have aged well. And I know they had that too because it's in Thomas, the book of Thomas in the in the Bible. I'm only a Python lure dev. I don't know as much as someone that studied it. 
Yeah, you do. Believe me. Uh, people do not get to learn a lot when they study programming. A programmer is only really as good as the things that they go and actively learn themselves. When I was studying, right, we had to learn four languages in the first year and a half, and that was C++, C Sharp, Java, and HTML5. HTML5, I breezed through that one. That one was so easy to learn because it was basically just Markdown. But um, also, you use the Markdown to create web pages. C++ was tricky. C Sharp clicked with me. I loved C Sharp. That was probably my favorite language. Java, I hate with a passion. I absolutely despise Java. It's a language for mathematicians and not really for people who think about, like, you know, when there's a, a game, you pick up a gun, and that's actually a gun, right? And it fires bullets. At the back end, when you do C Sharp or C++, you can be all like, oh, well, that's really easy to program in the gun, right? The, the gun has nine bullets in it, and you can have that magazine in there, and if there's one in the chamber, uh, look for whether or not there is one bullet spear, and then add that to the magazine that you employ. Like, it's real easy to program that in there when you're doing object-oriented stuff. But Java, it's like, you pick up a gun, you need to know the X, Y, and Z axis of where the gun is pointing for it to actually pop up in your hand in the first place. I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. In the last couple of years, I've been learning Python. I have fallen in love with it. I actually do like the simplicity of Python, even if it's more like a blunt object rather than a, a very elegant solution to things. I learned C++ basic, like syntax and how to define variable functions and the other basics such as pointers, po point pointers and references, but never done anything with C++. I've never really done anything with it either. I'm learning .NET MAUI at the moment, so I'm going to have to learn a bit of C++ uh, just to kind of like create very, very rudimentary applications. Because at this point, I now have needs on my YouTube channel that the market just cannot accommodate. Like um, very spe specialized checklists with very specialized things on them. And I want to be able to program an application that just has that checklist um, list everything for me in a way that I would need it as I need it. So I'm going to be making that app instead of, you know, waiting for it to be developed. Okay, we have about 500 bucks. We need lots of tea. That is a cash cow. We're just going to have to bite the bullet and buy whatever this is. And we're also going to have to buy six lots of tea as well. That's 360 bucks. We've got 49 bucks left. Uh, that's a lot of boxes on the street right here. Okay, let's turn the lights on so we can see what we're doing. But yeah, like... The Python, I love it. I absolutely love it. I never like Java. All of the other ones kind of float in between, I would say. I'm going to probably start learning JavaScript because I'm working on a website, but my friend doing most of the front end. Oh, God, I wish... Oh, that's what I wanted with this app. I wanted to deal with all of the front end stuff. And this was this one guy I know who is also studying IT the same way that I studied it, who really likes doing back end stuff. So I'm probably going to approach him at some point and... Um, uh, make this actually like a, a, a product, the thing that I'm working on, uh, that you can actually download in the App Store or the or the Google Play Store or something like that. Because as it currently stands, uh, what it is, is just like... Hard to explain, actually. It, it, it's a checklist. It's a checklist item that you download the skeleton framework to on your phone, and then you additionally download um, plugins for that skeleton framework that will show you the actual lists of things and essentially what I want to make it into is like a bunch of challenge lists or uh, trophy lists and that gamers can use at any given time and the way I want it to be applied to uh, kind of like mobile applications specifically is have kind of like a little pin in the corner of your screen and when you tap on it it opens up the checklist and you tap on that pin again it hides the whole thing so you don't need to fiddle around with all of your applications to kind of um, very easily find things. So game guides, all that kind of stuff, basically on one centralized platform, essentially, is what I wanted it to be. I hate Python. It's such an ugly program programming language. The code blocks matter on spacing. Yeah, I'm, like, just because it's ugly, though, doesn't mean it's not really, really easy to read. Like, I went from... What was I programming? I was programming in Java, not JavaScript. I was programming in Java when I was quite young, and I was, uh, like, trying to make maps for games. I was mapping for games. For, for mods and games. And when I moved on from that, I started looking at C++, C Sharp. I love that language so much in comparison. When I got to Python, I looked at this and I thought, oh my God, this is everything I need in one language without any excess, which is what everything else uh, has at the time. Like Java is very functional if you're a very good mathematician. 
C sharp, C plus plus, really, really good if you know what the 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 inbuilt kind of scripts are, what the uh, the function variables are, which I don't because I have memory issues. And when I got to Python, everything was just all like everything is face value, and everything is simplistic, and you don't need to you don't necessarily need to know a billion layers of math to be able to do it as well. Python is pretty simple and complete. That's a, yeah, that's a good way of saying it. It's complete. It's a complete language where you don't really need to rely on anybody else. Okay, so this guy should be stocking the shelves. We should probably actually help him out a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw this on the floor over there, and we'll hit this light. You know what would actually help him a lot more? Let's go ahead and throw this right in the doorway down here. Instead of him just going around restocking everything, we'll throw all of this into the doorway, and he should be taking all of this crap into storage for us. There we go. Teamwork right here. This is teamwork. But yeah, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know this backend developer very well. I'd love to make an app with him. He's friends with a lot of my friends. I, I just don't know him so well. So I don't know how well we would necessarily work together. Got some yogurt right here. Let's empty this box. Done. Finally. That yogurt is probably rotting by now. But yeah, um, I broke away from the whole like Unity engine thing, which I kind of, I, that's what I studied IT for in the first place. I wanted to make video games and publish video games and help people publish video games. What I didn't realize is that I didn't actually want to be the one making the games. I wanted to be the publisher. So that's going to come in the future, hopefully, if I get a better platform on YouTube. That's also one of the things that simulated me to get into the YouTube full time as well. I wanted a publishing platform for other people who ordinarily wouldn't have access to um, the kind of facilities that I would have as a, as a YouTuber. But what I learned from that is I don't like Unity at all. And I could go to Unreal 5 and just develop things on there. But again, Unreal 5 is, is kind of jank in its own ways. It's beautiful, but it's jank in its own ways. Hey there, Phantasma. Welcome to the stream. But what I really wanted to do is take people who were already like halfway through making a game, encourage them to finish the game and then kind of be with them as they publish it. You know, kind of... Because when I was at my... At my mother's house as a teenager, I was making these tiny little video games and I just deleted them out of insecurity. If I had just put them on the Steam store, I would be... I'd probably be sitting at about 100,000 bucks now as a 30-year-old. You're underrated? Oh, thanks, Phantasma. That f it feels good to hear every single time. Sounds like a good idea, but getting an audience is really hard. Like, you might make something really good, but only get one to two people that use it. Yep, that is why you need a publishing company. I, I know everything about what it takes to publish something. Um, I've written two-thirds of a book, which I am going to probably publish next year at some point. That's going to give me a, a bit of kind of like insight on how to publish paperback, which is going to be really handy for writers or comic artists or even just artists. Um, and also give me a bit of experience with the Amazon Kindle store, because honestly, if I don't also publish that, I'm massively gimping myself as uh, a potential publisher. Also, game publishing... That's something I, I really want experience in as well. And I'm making a game called You Are Dog on the Renpy engine. Just Python. Very, very basic Python. It's kind of like a, a visual novel. But it's also uh, kind of quirky and got its own gimmicks. For example, the whole thing takes place from you as a dog. Uh, so you're basically going around, following your owner around, trying to decipher what drama he's going through in his life and why it's influencing your life as well as a dog. Because you don't speak English. I feel like that part is just luck. There, there are ways. There are ways of tipping the scales in your favor, and that's kind of um, a natural skill of mine, which is marketing. Marketing's real easy. Well, if you if you are good at marketing, you're good at everything, or at least you're not good at everything, but you're good at convincing people that you're good at everything. Narcissists love marketing. Believe me. They also love the Sun Tzu's The Art of War because everything in there seems to apply to marketing as well. All right, we're down 61 bucks, but that's because we just restocked some of our bare essentials. What else we got? Why are we not restocking this? Nah, it's because it's full. That makes sense. We need peanut butter. We need eggs. We need peanut butter. We need eggs. We'll get six of each if we can. We need peanut butter. We need eggs. We'll get six eggs. Why don't get five of each, actually? And five peanut butters. We'll get them in fives. That's probably a good idea. That's going to cost us around about 300 bucks. That's fine. I just snipe streamers with my HVH script and make them rage in life with auto trash talk. Nice. Nice. That is my kind of malice. It's like, I don't like spite for the sake of spite, but I like, I like petty spite. You know, just being a jackass for fun. Just because it's amusing. Yeah, 
like uh, I've already got such a huge amount of experience in IT and uh, marketing and and all of that stuff. Why not actually just create the platform? I don't want to work for anybody. I don't want to represent anybody and say, hey, this guy's really, really good. I don't know if they're really, really good, and I don't like lying to people. So I'm, I'm trying to create my own platform. And if I, if I get a platform out of that, so be it. Or if I can get ad revenue that funds the ability to have other people um, potentially publish their works, that alone would be just everything I want and more. You got every knowledge you need? Make a good game? Yeah, I am halfway through making a good game already. Um, I've already programmed like a um, a Pokemon style uh, fight into you, our dog. It's uh, the perspective of it is kind of like there's a bunch of branching paths right from the start of the game. So if you click on a room in the house, you're presented with a map for a house. You click on one room, that'll start you down a really, really long uh, story arc. And every single one of these stories arcs is completely different and unique. I've programmed a Pokemon fight scene. I've programmed in an acid trip. I've programmed in a dating simulator. I've programmed in a murder mystery. Uh, sidelining a horror. I've also programmed a horror. Well, maybe not programmed, but I've written it in Python and it's functional as a game. It's just, the only issue that I have is that I am a crap artist. That's it. That's the only reason that I can't do anything. I'm just a crap artist. Okay, this guy's getting stuck on the box uh, thing that we kind of thought that he'd get stuck on. So let's go ahead and just get him to drop that. Yeah, I'm just a crap artist. I have a artist living with me now as uh, from about a week ago. And I've asked her if she wants to kind of like make the art for it. And she's really good with watercolors and stuff like that. So it's going to be very stylistic. Can't be me. I hate 3D modeling and animating. I can, I can 3D model and animate. But I, again, like I don't like the platforms at which you post them to. Like Unreal is needlessly complex. And Unity is... It's just... It's just fat, I guess. It's a fat engine, and it runs like a, a, a gigantic truck. Like, a semi-truck with two or three shipping containers behind it full of sand is how Unity runs, and it's about as fun to play on. I'm a really bad designer. Designing comes with experience. You do get really, really good at designing things with experience. Oh, damn it, he's got another one of these boxes. What is he doing? Ah, ploppers. Okay, we still got one more of these. Ah, good. He's about to drop that box, I hope, or at least throw it in the trash. But yeah, like, if you want to be really, really good at design, create your own world. Just sit there, try and write a story. It doesn't matter how bad the story itself actually is, but if you can create uh, just a story, doesn't matter how good, if you can create a story that doesn't have any plot holes, you can, you can do design. Game development design, uh, that's something that I also do pretty frequently as well. Not for anybody, I just like doing it myself. I like designing games. I, half of the games I design will never get made or anything like that, but at least I can say that I've done them and I've got the experience. So if anybody else ever needs... Oh, apparently this is too expensive. If, if anybody else ever needs uh, game design documents, like... I, whoop, not $22. I am uh, pretty much gold for it. Oh, good. We can get rid of this box as well, which is beautiful because this dickhead here... He doesn't know what to do when he's holding the box. He could drop it, but that never crossed his mind. Okay, we've got more than enough money to buy all of the stuff we need here. Eggs and peanut butter. Let's go ahead and just stock these, because we're probably almost out. Almost. Almost out. So close. Okay, I'll throw that on the ground. That's his problem now. It's not my problem. Ow, my eyes. Uh, where are we sticking this one? Right here. Good. And get another one of these eggs down in here. Done and dusted. More eggs. Excellent. And we should have one more pack of eggs somewhere. Got the peanut butter. We'll stick that right next to the eggs. Peanut butter right next to the eggs. Again, on that shelf. Put this one here. I kind of found a... I don't know if I'm you know, onto it enough to actually do this, but there's a bit of a meta that I could potentially do in this game where I just move the shelf that contains all the things that I'm moving closest to the door and then just dump it in. Post to work on your Discord server sometimes. I want to see it. Uh, I, I can do, like, development logs of the UR dog, but ultimately, unfortunately, because nobody ever took an interest in my work, I deleted all of them out of insecurities because I just assumed if no one was interested, they're just bad, which is a curse. And I got out of that habit around about 25, 26 years old. I write lots. I write lots of stories, and I'll probably end up making them into kind of like a... 
RPG Maker game, I suppose, is probably the format that they'll take because they're really easy to make and they seamlessly blend with, with Python, which I, I now love. It's my favourite language just because it's so easy to use. Besides, every other aspect of my life, I kind of dump all of my productivity into really, really hard applications. Like, my digital audio workstation, when I record music, I use Reaper, which is the most user-hostile digital audio workstation I have ever seen. There's Ableton Live, there's Fruity Loops, there's GarageBand, all of those. They, they welcome you in with a hug and open arms and all of that. Reaper, as soon as you fire it up, it slaps you in the face and says, you don't know anything. That's, that's, that's what I chose to use. Happens to me sometimes, not going to lie. Yeah, it's just insecurities. And eventually it gets to the point where you care less about how people see you more than you care about your insecurities. So you just stop deleting them, essentially. Uh, I got one story that I was writing uh, based on a nightmare that I had a few days ago where it kind of takes place in the late 1800s and it's based on this guy who has these premonitions about people who commit seppuku. And uh, one day, after a, a fairly, fairly dry spell after a few years and being committed to a lunatic asylum, you know, because of these premonitions, uh, he keeps getting found near all these bodies trying to stop them and it turns out that he... Uh, you know, gets convicted of, of trying to murder them. Or, you know, actually murdering them. He's in this lunatic asylum, and this giant mass kind of cult seppuku uh, breaks out, and he's the only one who survives. And he saw it coming, he warned everybody, and he gets dragged into this kind of, like, interrogation room and interrogated because he was the only one that survived. So everybody thinks that he was just the one that caused it. But he's really just a guy who uh, has these kind of, like, premonitions. Well, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to end. It might actually end in kind of, like, he doesn't have the premonitions. And I'll leave it kind of, like, up to interpretation on whether or not he's crazy or he's actually psychic. Who knows? That makes sense? It makes sense when it's all jotted down. All I've got is the first chapter so far. And they're very short stories all the time. Every single time. Okay, good. I got another one that I probably should finish, which I uh, kind of have been coming back to every now and then over the last month, about this kind of, like, old janitor and a bunch of people go see him in a club every single night because when they dance with him, he projects uh, the image in place of himself of a loved one that died. So these people get a final dance with a loved one and they can't speak to them or anything like that, but they can at least feel like they're at peace with them. But this this kind of janitor guy ends up being a mind flayer and he just kind of like, he feeds on pieces of people's souls as this is happening. Three subs away from 1K. No way. Oh, I'm so close. It's been awesome. I've been getting like uh, maybe 15 subs a day for the last week. It's been awesome. Lucky and unlucky at the same time. Yeah, that's definitely going to be uh, what happens to the guy in the interrogation room. It's, all, it's definitely, it's going to be unlucky because regardless of the outcome, he's going to be recommitted to another lunatic asylum. And whether or not it's justified or whether or not he doesn't belong there, that's all up to the interpretation of the, of the reader. You know, it builds engagement. It's really hard to get people to read stories these days. We've got such a, a fickle world when it, comes to, when it comes to art and culture. And even then, if someone reads your story, they'll probably forget the damn thing a few minutes later. We have two stockpiles for peanut butter for some reason. It's weird. Okay, let's get rid of that. And we probably need to restock milk and water. Probably need to actually do a full restock. I was just waiting for this guy to finish up what he was doing, but it seems like he's probably not going to anytime soon. Maybe we just keep on going. We make the break for store level 22. We get the other storage monkey, and then we just kind of... We gap it. We gap it from it. I mean, just don't talk. You should be good. They can only convince you if you give them confession in those cases. Okay, I've got a bit of a genius way of uh, kind of making it all interpretable uh, by the viewer as well. And I think anybody who does a bit of writing will really appreciate this. What I'm going to do with my stories, uh, if they don't make it to the RPG Maker games, because those are going to take a lot of time to make, I'm not going to screw around when it comes to knowing how long it takes to make games. Even a single story can take hundreds of hours to put into a visual experience, right? Even if it's as simple as... as um, visual novels or game maker uh, kind of stuff or RPG maker or anything like that so the ones that don't make it probably going to make it onto the channel as members features 
and they are going to be spoken rather than kind of like read, out, read just text. That's going to be absolutely a stupid idea. So when they're spoken, I've got Yin set to kind of like help tell the story with me. And with the story about the guy who uh, you don't know if he's crazy or not, he's going to be talking to himself the whole way through, right? And he's going to be like asking questions and then he's going to respond as if somebody's talking to him in his head and you'll think, oh, he's actually crazy. And then right at the end, there's going to be uh, Yin Set basically saying, okay, thank you very much for the interview, but we don't have enough evidence to release you. We're going to have to have you recommitted. It's going to be really, really good. Fight Club reference? Yes, but backwards. Because Tyler Durden didn't exist. Right? Isn't that genius? It turns out that this whole time he wasn't crazy. As opposed to Fight Club, where the plot twist was that he was crazy the whole time. Do we have oil? We probably need to... Yeah, we need a lot of restocking. We only have 200 bucks, though. That's not good. All right, let's get a few more oils. We'll spend all of our money on oil for some reason. Uh, we've, it's a cash cow, honestly. So it's probably worth the amount of money we're spending on it. We've got a lot of yogurts. What else do we need? We need coffee. That makes us a lot of money. And for some reason, we haven't had it for a while. Okay, we'll get two bad. We'll get four. We'll get four. It's going to be 400 bu uh, 200 bucks, but it's going to be absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and get this oil stocked and ready. Actually, let's stick this in here. We'll fill out this other rack first. Okay, good. Yeah, no, I am... I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie to anybody. I'm one of those people... And I always lie to myself about this across my whole life. I'm one of these people who is hyper-creative. And if I don't get to express my creativity in some format or another, I get violently angry. And I, I don't know why this is. I think it might be genetic because most of my family are all creative people. And they're also somewhat crazy to an extent as well. So, you know, it's, it it's probably is genetic. But, like, I can actually feel when I haven't, like, written a song or written any poetry, written a story, or just thought of anything like that for a long time. Because I, I get this kind of, like, tingling inside my chest that it just makes me want to hit something. I'm just a lazy person, not going to lie. Hey, as long as you know it early, you can catch it early. It's not so bad if you know it. Is this guy taking oil? Yes. Oh, you penis. I wanted to take two so I could empty this box. All right, I'll throw that there. That is now our restocking monkey's problem. Uh, we are almost at level 22, so we can almost get our other restock monkey. We need lots of salt. Let's get lots of salt. Probably want to spend all 200 bucks on this. Because salt is surprisingly potent when it comes to cost. Oh, that's right. We didn't buy the coffee. Okay, we need another 91 buckery booze. Good. What's this guy buying? 25 bucks? That's absolutely fine. Okay. So... Here's the thing, right? If we increase our stock room out the back, unfortunately, our overheads go up. That's not good. We don't want that. We aren't generating enough money to maintain consistent minimum storage, so we might want to start buying lower quantities of things. This lady just screwed us over. We only have that cheap-ass pasta to get people in the door, and she just basically bought an entire box. Okay, I think we're completely out of it now. Didn't find the farine flour. Okay, fine. We got 281 bucks. I think we're just 20 bucks shy of getting this delivery right here. Uh, we can almost get it. We can almost get this delivery box right here. Okay, good. But yeah, just like um, carrying on. It wasn't until... I got a couple of medical issues, which prevent me from being able to hold a job, unfortunately. Obviously, I can sit here and play a video game and talk to my heart's extent, but finding somebody to pay you to do that in Dunedin, New Zealand, is about as easy as finding somebody to pay you to uh, jerk off in a nun's convent. It's, it's, it's very, very difficult to find employment here, especially when you don't really have the facilities to kind of, like, be running around a retail store all day or you don't have a university qualification that will allow you access to any of the other jobs that are not running around at a retail store. So my medical issues have got me financially set up for virtually the rest of my life because I'm not getting better. So I'm, in a sense, quite lucky because I can start pursuing my YouTube consequence-free. You know, I'm not losing money by doing this. I'm, If anything, I'm actually gaining it because I'm not doing anything else with my time. And I could be making games and kind of min-maxing all of the stuff that I could be doing uh, efficiency-wise, but why would I do that when it lowers the quality of my life? Okay, we'll go ahead and buy this order right here. Quality of life's really important. A lot of people don't necessarily tend to acknowledge just how vital quality of life is. Like, um...
getting takeout. A lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't do it because it's financially stupid. And then they, they throw rocks at anybody who, who buys takeout. And uh, they point and say to the internet, hey, everybody, look at this idiot. He buys takeout and stuff like that. But it's good for the soul, especially if you don't do it that much. Like if you voluntarily restrict yourself, it's not necessarily bad for you. If you treat it like a treat, it's definitely a treat. It's when you start oversaturating it, then then it becomes a bad idea. Okay, we'll get all of the salt down here. We've got so much salt. Excellent. We're probably going to get another 10 of them as well, to be quite honest. Uh, we don't have long to do it, though. Let's go ahead and throw that down there. I'm not lying, by the way. I'm actually going to get another 10 loads of salt. 134 bucks. Done. Let's restock this entire shelf. Put that there. I'll turn this light on so I can see a little bit better. And we're coming all the way through. Good. Got a few more over here. I don't know why I bother taking my finger off the shift button, to be quite honest. Okay, good. Put that there. Take that one next. Put it here. Take this one here. We need some more of these tiny little items that package into really small packages. Because salt is probably one of the most lucrative items from a stocking standpoint. How many items do you know that it can stack into 256 before even being, you know, fully stacked on the shelf? We've got 13 coffees. Okay, we're starting to get our stockpile back up. Uh, we just missed the cutoff for buying more stuff. We need more milk. We need more water. We need more cereal. Okay, let's just add the cereal and stuff to the cart. Cereal. Definitely want these. And we also want milk and water, if we can afford it. Yep, water right here. Good, and milk. Definitely. We need 250 buckery booze to be able to afford this. Uh, people are still shopping in here for some reason. Hell are you doing, sir? Get out of my store! Hint, hint. Get out of the store! Leave! Did you not read the sign outside? It said piss off? Jesus! Overstay much? 25 bucks. Thank you, sir. Piss off! Screw him. Screw that guy. Screw that guy. I'm not even going to worry too much. Okay, we got negative three bucks in our pocket. That is not amazing. It's also not so bad. Okay, this lady is sauntering around. We are closed. We want to open. Otherwise, no one's going to come in and buy our crap. Okay, a couple of muscle cars going around the place. A couple of BMW Beamer 328i's. Same one I had. I actually got so frustrated with fixing that car, as did my m previous mechanic, which is why I had to start fixing it in the first place, that I scrapped it. I did not like it. I did not miss it either. I just kind of... It got really, really disabled at the end of its life, and then it started farting a bunch of oil and gas all over the place. It got water leaks every single, like, two kilometres... Ugh. Do not like BMW 328i's. Yuck. I always see them, and it's like... It's it's what salesmen drive when they want you to think that they're wealthy, but they're not. Lamau High Security? I want an old BMW at my 18. Not gonna lie. No, you don't, my dude. Believe me, you do not want an old BMW. They are revolting... Oh, wait, you're French, aren't you? Okay, so you're really close to the parts. Just getting a spare key for a BMW 328i here in New Zealand... Cost my father $280 to get it custom milled from the uh, German factory because you can't just get them remade. It, it, it doesn't work like that. You need to get like a, a, a very specific kind of detailing on the key to make it work. So that alone was that he probably spent roughly $10,000 a year just getting its water leak fixed alone. Damn, what the hell? I know it's insane, isn't it? It's insanely um, expensive. He, sp he definitely spent more on getting the water uh, leaks in the BMW 328i fixed. Then he spent on petrol for the BMW 328i. That's how bad those cars are. And they slurp gas. They are so expensive to run. A good tank full these days would probably cost you around about 180 bucks. And you could probably reasonably, if you drive it around just every now and then, you'd have to do that every two weeks. You can get them for two to three K in Germany. Yes, yeah, because they suck ass. It's because they're not worth anything. Because the people who own them would literally pay to get someone to take it off of their hands. I didn't even sell it. I didn't even sell my BMW 328i. I just gave it to a wrecker. I, I, didn't, I didn't want the hassle of selling it. It was just a piece of garbage. And this is coming from somebody who made uh, relatively $2,000 on a buggered Mazda uh, Accelerator. 
I just love them. There are better cars. There are way better cars. Like, significantly better cars. Here in New Zealand, if you buy European, you are basically kind of putting yourself in active debt. It's not like people decide to do it in the moment. They just realise that it's a thing after it happens. Okay, we can almost afford this order. How much is it? 262? Okay. Just need to get a little bit more of a run-up. We are completely out of the top cereal. It's the bottom one that actually costs money, though, so should be in a good, pretty good spot regardless. All right, what are we looking at? Not a hell of a lot. What's this guy buying? Peanut butter? Gorgeous. This guy's also buying a lot of peanut butter. We do stock other things. I don't know why this guy's exclusively buying peanut butters. Weird. You got a BMW 328? Yeah, 328i. It's a BMW Beamer. 1996, I think it was. Almost as old as I am. I hated it so bad. It's like 2.5k in France. Yeah, not here in New Zealand, it's not. It's You have to pay records to take it off of your hands here in New Zealand. I got really lucky. I found someone who was willing to take it for about 400 bucks. And that is really lucky. Especially since the, uh, what was it? Oh, I can't name any parts of a car. I learned how to fix cars by actually getting in the car and fixing a car. And so I don't actually know what any of the parts are called. I never had anybody teach me any of that kind of stuff. I had a stepdad growing up who... May or may not have known a lot about cars. I, I'll never know because he never, like, expressed any kind of competency with any kind of engineering whatsoever. Actually, maybe he sucked at cars. Maybe that's why. Like, he could drive cars, but he was not good at fixing them. But I don't know what a single part of a car is called. I, I couldn't name a single part of a car except for the engine, the engine bay, the 10 mil spanner that is at the bottom of the engine bay, probably the radiator. If it's in a different place, I wouldn't be able to name it. Um, I just know where everything goes and what everything's supposed to look like. It looks good. I like it. They look dumpy as hell. And under the hood, the engine is surprisingly small for just how big the front is. It's unnecessary. And it's very heavy, which means it's a massive drain on petrol. They're very inefficient cars. They're not good for sprints either. You know, like in between city sprints. I know I probably won't be able to change your mind on this, but man, after... I had to watch... My dad's mechanic lose his hair. I kid you not, he lost his hair over having to fix my dad's car every single week. And then my dad's mechanic gave up and my dad started fixing it. He gave up. He gave the car to me for free. I had it for about three years before I was like, this is not worth the amount of time I'm spending I bent over in the, uh, in the bonnet of this thing. So eventually, like, it got to the point where it broke like for good kind of broke and I didn't want to fix it again. So I got really lucky and I just had a, a wrecker come and tow it away. It's worth it if you're European. I'm not really European. I'm Scottish. I don't think that really qualifies though. I don't think the Scottish, the, the Scots are really counted amongst the Europeans. I know the English don't. They left the European Union. Okay. We definitely can not afford the order now. And since it's getting dark, we probably don't have a choice but to buy it. Right, that's good. We need more peanut... We need lots more peanut butter. We need more powdered sugar as well. Peanut butter, powdered sugar. Let's go ahead and get both of those things. Powdered sugar and peanut butter. Good, that's 226. Down the hole. Done. And what else do we need? We need milk, water, bottled water. We need milk. Probably need two of each of these for 110 bucks. We'll spend all of our money and hopefully we'll get a nice run-up for the next day. Jesus, that is a lot of stock. This is now the core gameplay loop, though, by the way. We just buy boxes. Yeah, I imagine if you're in Europe, you could probably actually ship the parts to yourself for probably significantly less than 2000 New Zealand dollars, which is around about how much I was quoted to get a radiator for the BMW 328i into New Zealand. Yuck. Big yuck. That's not even including installation. Big yuck. Big yuck on that one. This is yogurt going. Not a lot of people are buying it anymore, but it is still kind of a cash cow. Oh, we actually have it set for the market price. Let's go ahead and raise that to $2.50. Nice even number. There you go, everybody. Two for five. We're now having a new sale and piss off. Yogurt is now two for $5, which is actually more expensive than it was solo this time five minutes ago. It's pretty funny. And my hot take, by the way, my hot take on cars that I will always love, even though they're kind of a piece of crap, is the 1970s Mustang. Easy. I love that car so much. I've been in one. They are, they have comfy interiors. They're responsive. 
The manuals are really, really fun to uh, drive the stick around in. Love them so much. But I know that everyone that's had one is probably like, oh, but they're so thirsty. They're so thirsty and they break all the time. But there's so few moving parts of them. I, th that is a car I'd be happy to be elbow deep in. That is a car I'd happily drop five 10 mil spanners in each week. Okay, we probably don't have anyone else coming in, right? Probably not. Is this guy actually going to be restocking the shelves? No. <laughs> Why do I even think that? Okay, let's go ahead and we'll just start throwing these at the storage because we want him to start restocking the shelves. Otherwise, we're not going to know for tomorrow what we do and do not have to go into storage. Okay, he's probably getting the milk and he's probably going to try and restock that first. Get this one, throw it over here. Get this one, throw it over here. I know it's really, really slow at the beginning of most days. Oh, we're at store level 21 as well. So we are literally one... Oh, that was close. We should probably get these off the road before a car runs them down. Or knocks them across the map. Because we don't want that. Yes, we definitely want this uh, stockpile monkey to have a friend. We want that second one, which means we're going to need a couple more of these racks. We can get the really cheap ones. I think we need three more, which is not going to be cheap what's, by any measure. We're probably going to need... 600 bucks? 800 bucks, maybe? Just to get some real cheap shelvings that we probably won't even end up using. So we'll probably end up doing that. All right, this guy is replacing all of this, which is fantastic-ish. Okay, what else can I get that is not on the shelves? Chalk pick? Uh, no, we don't have a spear box worth of that. Let's just throw that down there. This is milk. Probably have a spear load of that. No, we don't. That's all stocked. I don't think anyone's buying any of the stuff here. Uh, we've also got peanut butter. That is fully restocked, thanks to Restock Monkey. What is this? Water. Okay, surely we are out of water. No, we are not. We are fully restocked on water. This is embarrassing. Oh, maybe it's because he's taking all of the stuff, like, in real time, and he's using it to, to restock. All right, what's this? This is water. Let's start doing these shelves, then. Just throw this on the ground, I suppose. And we'll hit this button. Good. And now we want to huck this one up. There, I think. Yep, good. This is also water that can go up there. This is cereal that goes up here. Nice. And right up here, more water. Bugger. Let's throw that in the corner. We got some more of this powdered sugar. Where did this go? Was it around here? I'd say, oh, there it is. Put that there. Good. We got some more milk. Excellent. Put that there. And this is more powdered sugar. Put that there. Good. More milk, bugger. We've got so much of this stuff. I didn't realize it wasn't going to stack very well. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought it. A lot of peanut butter. A lot of peanut butter. More milk, damn, and probably another water. Yeah, I thought that we were maybe like running out of it, so I bought extra. Okay, so we need coffee. We need flour. Okay, we should probably get these. Flour, basmati rice, pasta. Flour, basmati rice, and pasta. Flour, basmati rice, and pasta. Not that flour. Uh, pasta, flour, and basmati rice. Where is the basmati? Down here, okay. We probably want to get the basmati rice separately because it stacks really, really well. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and finish the day. Excellent. So, we have negative 77 buckery booze. Gorgeous. That's what I like to see. What's this? Ah, more water and milk. Let's leave this milk out in the sun. Maybe we can turn it into cheese. Yeah, okay, uh, let's open the store as well. Okay, so now that we've kind of, like, filled up the store, we should be in a pretty damn good spot. I'm going to take the salt and fill this one up so that he doesn't. Excellent. Actually, this one up here also needs restocking. Good. Wonderful. I thought he was actually going to grab some salt and just follow me along behind. What are you restocking? Eggs. Two eggs. Okay, good. Waste of time, in my opinion, but I, I appreciate the initiative. Okay, so we are getting a pretty good stockpile of goods and services back here. I mean, I say services. We've automated the services part. It's a shame. It's a shame about the candy, because the candy was actually fairly lucrative. All right, Punisher here is going to be buying a bunch of stuff. I don't think any of those are big-ticket items. Never mind, the tea costs quite a bit. Let me take a look at the price of milk. What is it being sold for? Uh, we probably changed that to 3.5. I don't really want to have to count by cents, but that seems to be where we are right now. Okay, let's go and check for the requirements of the second restocker. Because we're probably wasting time by keeping the place open after hours for restocking. 
Let's go ahead, go into management. So what we need is two more racks and we also need store level 27. We're actually real close to level 27 here and we need four more racks. Don't know if they'll fit in here, but I'll try. How much are they going to cost? We need... Where are they? We probably don't want the big ones. Ah, oh, they're only 50 bucks more. So we need about a grand to get the requirements for this guy. And then we need another 100 bucks to actually hire him. And then... Wait, are you taking the piss, my dude? Seriously? What? Okay, this is annoying. How much is a box of milk? Can we just afford to throw it away? Milk. Where is it? Right here. A box is 30 bucks. Okay, we probably can't afford to throw it away just yet because we still have to kind of count our, count our chickens, so to speak. But more like the, the breast milk of a cow instead of eggs. Okay, I'm probably going to have to do all the restocking then if that's the case. So, coffee's getting low. Let's go ahead and get another sack of coffee. We've got one more bag of coffee. That's what we need to restock, actually. Put that one there. Throw this out. Good. And this guy's buying a bunch of stuff. Nice. 30 bucks. Thank you very much for your patronage. Piss off. And this lady right here is buying a little bit of stuff. Not a hell of a lot, though. 40 bucks, actually, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. We'll get some more peanut butter, because we can probably fill up the rack with an entire box of it by now. Peanut butter. Nice. And let's... Okay, we can definitely fill up this box. Perfect. Right then in the bin. Okay, so... What else we got? Tea is... Looking pretty good, actually. We still need the white boxes of spaghetti. So we should probably buy that, right? We should probably buy white boxes of spaghetti. This stuff right here, four of them. And oh, we didn't buy the other things that we need. Which is going to cost about 200 bucks. We can afford it. Let's get it. Good. Oh, that is a hazard waiting to happen. Watch out, monkey. Okay, it didn't hit him. That was very lucky. That could have been a, um, a work safe call out. All right, let's put all that there. Is there another one that goes there? No. I'm just going to leave these boxes in the supermarket. Got a bunch of flour here. Let's go ahead and stock these. And gorgeous. That's a whole box. Done. We'll stock this one up in here. Where does it go? That is a great question, me. Probably right here. Done. And that's also flour. Let's jam that one there. Good. What is this? Spaghetti? Okay, we need to put this on the rack. Where? Right there. I don't know this area very well, actually. I Like, surprisingly, I don't know what we have too well. We probably ought to start double stacking onto the racks, right, with some of these orders. All right, we've got pasta. This goes down here. And we've got one here that I'm just going to dump onto the shelf, right at the bottom down there. Uh, we can also kind of, like, take this box and put it there. Good. And now we are going to leapfrog these into the bin. What's this? More pasta. Good, that can go in the rack here. And what is this next one? This is also pasta. Bugger. That's not good. Okay, so now that we've done that, we want more of... The, probably not this pasta, right? How does this pasta stack? The white boxes. Not amazingly. We want the blue basmati. We want, uh, I think, six of those. Yeah. Because they're lucrative, too. We can afford to do so. Done. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start stacking some of these onto the shelves. And we're going to do some of them onto the uh, storage units. Okay, we'll go ahead and jam that into there. Excellent. Now, anyone can buy our delicious basmati rice that we definitely made ourselves. Homemade, in-house. We made it in our own pot. That's right. We cook our rice before sale. Don't heat it up again. You'll get salmonella. Okay. Stick that in there. Hello, sir. Are you having fun doing nothing for a living? What an idiot. Okay, we need to restock the powdered sugar because our monkey won't do it. Just the powdered sugar. Do we have any? We also need cereal and coffee. Okay, let's get cereal and coffee. I can't believe this. Uh, cereal, we'll get three of them. Three of the other one too. And we also need the rest of it to be coffee right here. Done. 412 bucks. Jesus, that's expensive. Okay, let's go ahead and replace this powdered sugar then while we're waiting. I'm just going to throw that on the ground while, it, while some ethereal force opens it. Let's start stocking all of this. Good. Nice. I don't think that box was full. 
Yeah, we're definitely going to need more cereal. Okay. What are you guys buying? Are you going to get 400 bucks worth of stuff? Almost, actually. They've, they've almost got 400 bucks worth of stuff. This guy's buying heaps. Maybe we do need another self-checkout. It's 900 bucks, though. And there are better things we can spend our money on, like a second restocking monkey, which is going to increase our overheads, unfortunately. There we go. That's actually just tipped us over what we need, I think. Yep, definitely. Let's go ahead and purchase these. Now we'll start sticking these on the shelves if we can. Yeah, I think we can fit an entire box here. Yeah, definitely. Good. And the rest of these have to go on these shelves. What about these ones here? Can we replace these ones? Yes. Let's do that. Do that right now. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and stick these in storage. I think it goes there. Uh, that one can go on the floor. This one... It only has one little box in it, so we'll go ahead and we'll just, like, stock that one, I think. Take this one, run in here, and boop, there we go. Nice. And we'll take this other box of chocolate pick and we'll stick it on the rack here because now we have a full load. We've got eight left of these other cereals here. Can I have it? Thank you. Wow. I think that's supposed to be an AI uh, thing. All right, let's throw that in the ground right there. Not interested in it. And we want to put all of these other boxes up top side here and take this and we'll put it up there. There we go. What is this? This is coffee. This desperately needs to be on the shelf right here. And okay, we've got one spare. That's annoying. Let's just throw that on the shelf right there just in case we need it. And we will fill up this area here. One there. Take another one of these and we'll stick it there. Excellent. And we'll take another one of these, beautiful, and we'll jam it right there. Awesome! No one took any more coffee. There's only one person checking out. If anybody else comes in here, I'm going to kick them out. Okay, excellent. But for now, we'll give this lady the nice piss-off attention she deserves. Awesome. Thank you, piss-off! She bought 80 bucks worth of stuff. Piss-off. Nice. I wonder whether the sign is not illuminated. Not because it costs money. Not that we can afford to do so. Awesome, we've got 137 buckery booze. Jesus, man, why are you still holding one box of milk? This guy's an idiot. Like an actual verified idiot. Maybe that's why he doesn't go home. Maybe it's because he's actually an idiot. Okay. I think today we won't worry too much about restocking things. We'll worry about getting the requirements for the next restocking monkey, this guy right here. We are very, very close to getting the other one. Oh, we're also out of eggs, I think. Or are we? No, we're not. We're not out of eggs. Oh, now we are. Now we're out of eggs. I'll throw that on the ground because the restocking monkey's not going to go anywhere. Let's get more eggs. Because they are pretty damn handy. We'll get six of them. We can't afford six packs of eggs. Boxes of eggs, I mean. Six pack of eggs would be basically what we're trying to sell here. Uh, we'll jam these into the fridge. And that is empty. Great. This lady's buying two boxes of cereal. Is that going to tip us over the edge for the eggs? No, not even close. Uh, this lady is here for yogurt. Excellent. Uh, be careful, lady. It's expensive. Well, that's it. Hello there, Sir Biden. And the Punisher is also in here. Excellent. The Punisher is buying a box of milk and also coffee. They synergize really, really well. Three ba Four bags of it, though. Jesus, man. You, uh, you got the jitters? Oh, you also got cereal. And peanut butter. That's going to tip us over the edge. All right. So we've got to wait for this guy to finish checking out and... Uh. Uh. Okay. Sure. Why would I complain? Let's come over here and we'll actually buy this now. All of these eggs. And we will jam them all into our storage. Eggs right there. Excellent. And down here. Very good. I'm playing this like a pro plays Fortnite. I just realized I'm doing flick shots and stuff. I know it doesn't really look like it, but I am actually doing flick shots. Okay, good. And right here. Good. Okay. So now we just want the run up, right? We just want the run up to get to a grand so that we could afford maybe the luxury. Oh, I don't want that there. What the hell? We want to afford the luxury of another restock monkey. Drop that, please. Good. Done. Oh, uh, Captain Cleavage is here. Sorry, I thought there was a duplicate of Captain Cleavage, but there was not. Are you replacing the water? Oh, my man. 
Everyone's hero. Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear stupid blue coveralls. Literally too stupid to function. Oh my god. I can't believe him. He is actually an idiot. What an idiot. He doesn't... Seriously, man? Okay, that should... No, so not everyone is buying water, it seems. Okay, that should be this box done and dusted. Good, now get out of the store! Do your job! Oof! What an idiot. I can't believe him sometimes. Uh, like, the AI in this game is probably a bit too dumb every now and then, right? Looky, so what are we looking at? We are looking at a pretty big run-up to get ourselves another restock monkey. Now, we can't do this again. We can't do what he just did, which is pick up all of this crap and then try and restock everything with it, but it's all full. Okay, we need peanut butter. There's an entire shelf that's empty, which is just no good. Let's go ahead and jam this up here. Done. What else is empty? Oil. We need olive oil down here. What do you got? What do you got, buddy? Nope, that's coffee. We want olive oil, which is closer. This is only six. Oh my God, there's only half a box in here. Wow. This idiot does not know how to use a storage... Okay, so what I would want, right, out of this game at this point is the two things. One, minimum storage, or at least increase the... Have an option to increase the amount of boxes that you can spawn at one given time because getting lots and lots of big orders in, it's actually very cumbersome. We're not actually limited by the value of the items anymore. We're limited by the amount of items that we can buy at any given time. Okay, that did nothing. And for the love of God, if I add something to the storage, please, please, for the love of God, dump the rest of the box into the next box if you are able to do so. They're, they are two very, very minor things that would massively improve the gameplay of this. Our restock monkey is literally doing nothing. He is still holding two boxes of milk. Okay, we've got 600, we got 600 bucks. This guy's actually making me stutter. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and I will be back to play the game in just a few seconds. Not even minutes because I don't take that long to pee. Oh, it's dark in here, isn't it? Jesus! Not see anything! Not see anything! What's going on? What is happening? What is it? Are these people even real? What is the meaning of life? Okay, good. Okay, so we should probably start helping this guy restock because he appears to be just an absolute stupid oaf who doesn't see when the shelves are empty we'll start with this tea right here and we'll buy a bunch more of it tomorrow if we can we got a grant hey we got exactly what we need okay so now we are very close to being able to get the second restocking monkey and i feel like once we get him 
all of the issues that we're having right now with this dickhead are going to basically vanish. And he is the only thing that we have a problem with, unfortunately. So, well, this lady's buying all the tea that I just placed. Okay. So, no one else should be coming in. Perfect. I like this. I like how this is working. That lady is going to piss off, and we are done for the day. So, now we need to make the bold decision of spending all of our money on shelving units for the storage. Which means we're going to have to change the storage around a little bit. And I did say that the core gameplay loop of this game is going to require us to not be on the shop floor anymore. Unfortunately, that is a bit of the case. We'll try and spend as much of the time as we possibly can on the shop floor. But at the end of the day, if we don't have the products, we can't sell the products. So we'll get some tall racks. They're only $50 more expensive than anything else. We're spending a grand on this and we have done it. Boom. We've got 12 bucks. Now, I don't know where the hell we're going to stick all of our gains at this point. All right, let's go ahead and start placing these. Some of these are going to basically be really, really rud rudimentary storage units for... We'll just clip that into there so it looks like it's attached. Really rudimentary storage units for, like, water and milk. So up top here, we'll put water and take all of that water, please. See if we play. Thank you. And we'll start sticking it on the other side of that rack as well. We'll remove that label. Milk can go one rack down. Excellent. And we'll remove that label. This one's also milk. That can go there. Beautiful. So now we've got places we can actually put these things. The chocolate pick cereal, that can be on this rack right here. And we'll eradicate these from necessity. Get that one there. Excellent. Now we can get rid of that label. And this one can go here. This other cereal, I keep forgetting the name of. There and there. And now we should be able to just stock that organically. Good. Now, the things that we don't... We're probably going to also create, like, a, a single lift for a lot of the items that we probably aren't capable of doing anything with. Okay, I'll put this one here. I'll put this one right beside it here. And I don't know what we're going to do with these ones just yet, but when we start getting other licenses, we're going to need it. Okay, cars, we're hitting this one. And we'll put this one right here. When we upgrade the storage room, by the way, and we get the access to the back rooms, there's going to be a little walkway that opens up here, so we won't worry too much about this here computer. Let's just at least center it a little bit so it looks a bit better. Okay, good. So, now that we've done that, Jesus, Taylor Swift just scared the crap out of me. Oh, my God. Let's go ahead and see what else we require for this second dickhead to be hired. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, we only need level 22, which we are very, very close to getting. That's awesome. That's very exciting, actually. I do love that. Okay, so we want teas. We want lots of teas. We're probably going to need to spend a little bit of money to get him into employment as well. Let's get, just, let's get some tea while we wait. We're going to need probably six boxes of it, realistically. For 288 buckery booze and 40 cents, we are probably going to have to wait a little bit so we can make up this last $42 here. That was it. That was what we needed. Perfect. So now that we got this, let's go ahead and start jamming this into its slots. Are we low on tea? Oh, we are actually. Let's just drop one of these boxes right on the shelf. Hot off the press. So that people can actually see that we own it. Good. And we'll take this all the way over here. There we go, we'll stick it there. And we'll come over down here, jam that in there like so, and one more. Boop. This one should probably dump onto here first. Before we go ahead and... Okay, it's definitely got the salt. Stick this on the shelving unit. Because we basically want the most used box to be on the top. Top priority. Awesome, we are store level 22. We can now go into management and we can hire this here guy. We do not want him using unlabeled racks. That is a big no-no, friendo. Although, once we get big enough, it's not actually going to make a huge difference anyway. Perfect. Now we can focus on keeping the store restocked, and we should be making lots and lots of money. We should be able to get the license really easily, if that's the case. Hello there, ma'am. That is a hell of a top bun you've got there. Okay, what do we have? What do we need? We need coffee. We actually do desperately need coffee. That is something we should probably just have on hand at all times. We'll get four boxes of it, I think, because that's probably a good amount. 
We only need one more checkout, I think, before we get the coffee. Please? I beg you. I beg you. Please, someone check out. What the hell is going on up there? Why is no one buying my things? Oh, okay. Because they were getting things into the, uh, into the cart. That's fine. As long as they buy it. I kind of like this little array system that they've got here that places the items. Although it's kind of weird that there's no little belt that moves all of the food closer. And yet they all still move closer in a, in a very strange sequence. Okay. We've got enough money. Let's go ahead and buy our coffee. Done. Gorgeous. Okay, and we also need to start stockpiling this here and here. We want to get lots and lots of coffee because it is kind of crap to stack. So we'll start stocking it as close to the entrance as we can there. And then we'll start kind of like building it out a little bit. Okay, so... Yeah, we're in a pretty good place now. We've got some money, we've got some stock, and we aren't terribly caught with our pants down. For once. For once, everything's actually kind of nominal. I like this. All right, good. What is this? Uh, the spaghetti. We need lots of spaghetti. White box spaghetti. Where is the white box spaghetti? Let's get four of them. Sure. Done. We'll buy four. Good. It's on the street now. Now, we probably want this to also have its own shelf. Yeah, let's do that, because it doesn't stack well at all. Move that and this one here. And go in there. Excellent. Turn this light on, of course. We'll take this box right here, and we'll jam it right beside it. Okay, good. Yeah, these don't stack well at all. Milk does. Well, water does. Maybe milk does. I don't know. Okay, what is that? I think that is... Okay, we need powdered sugar, and we also need... I think they're the little brown cakes. What are they called? Okay, we'll get six of these. Can we afford six of these before 9 p.m.? Probably not. Oh, unless somebody checks out once more. I'm going to mash this button right here. Nice. Oh, damn it. So close. So close. Please check out. Oh, we missed. Yeah, we got it. Oh, my God. We actually got it. Perfect. That feels really good. Where do we want to put this? Probably there. Okay, we'll get all of these and we'll stick them all down here. Excellent. We'll dump all of these onto the rack and they can be the storage monkey's problem. Now, it is after hours. People are still going to be checking out a little bit, but we should have much better workflow with these two dickheads, right? We've only got a couple of people still in the store. We should be able to see the shelves a lot faster, which means that we can start the next day faster. Don't know what these guys are doing with the material. It's probably restocking. Okay, excellent. Now, are they going to be done by the time we kind of like open again? Is my next question. We could think about... Uh, we probably need lots of yogurt now as well. Now that I kind of am aware of it. No, we don't. What am I talking about? We've got lots of yogurt. Okay, we'll restock all of this really expensive single package yogurt. We'll help them out. We'll help our monkeys out. Way to go. There it is. Excellent. That's a full box. Perfect. We'll go ahead and dump it all over here. Whoops. Didn't want that one there. Uh, can't throw here. Okay. We want to remove this label before the other monkeys come in and start stocking on it. Good. Okay. We got another box emptied. What else we got? So we need a couple more things. We've got some free racks. There's a few things that we don't really care about. We're completely out of oil. Which is a little annoying. No, we're not. Okay, we got six more. That's fine. Okay, these guys are going to continue their work on. We just finished day 51, which is actually pretty damn good. Let's open up the store. They are both taking turns restocking peanut butter. I love that. That's what I call synergy. Perfect. All right, what's next, guys? All right, coffee. And I don't know what the hell this guy's holding, but I'm pretty sure it's going to function as intended. Nice. I love the piss off sign right here. In fact, let's take a, a little screenshot of this. That's nice. Okay, we'll take a screenshot of that. That can be the thumbnail that I stick on the VODs for this video. I'm getting really, really good with the thumbnails. I've stopped, like, uh, putting myself in every single one of them so people don't know just how, you know, unbridled my sexiness is. But 
they're more attracted to the games themselves and people are actually watching those ones. I quite like that. I quite like that I am now good enough at thumbnails to not have to use how I look to get people to watch the videos. That is awesome. It feels good. Oh no. We're in arrears. Uh, we're, we probably started in arrears, to be honest. We're almost out of it, though, which is a great sign. It's going to cost us 180 bucks a day to keep both of these restockers here. But, as like, if we can ever get them to the point where they're not doing anything, when they're just standing outside organically, that's how we know we definitely have enough work for them. Because a lot of people definitely say if they're not moving, they're not doing any work. But if all of the work has already been done, we are in the best position possible to make money. Managers really need to take a page from that book, honestly. You know, the, the objective is not to get everyone busy. The objective is to get all of the work that's necessary done. And that is an, an ignored fact of life. Oh, poor baby. Yogurt's too expensive. How about some peanut butter? It's a great alternative. Yeah, sure. This is more expensive, actually. More protein, though. Definitely more protein than a fruit yogurt. Oh, I love seeing this. I love seeing this actually function. Beautiful. Okay, so it should kind of increase as the day goes on. I mean, there's already a bit of demand here. We probably need more shelves, honestly. We probably need more shelves, which would mean more stock, which means more people. Oh my god, that guy scared me. Hello there, short man. You are tiny. Why are you taking all of that cereal? Why are your eyes like that? Are you on drugs? I have the right to refuse service to anybody who looks like they're on drugs. Please don't glitch up Katy Perry's skirt. That is really weird. Oh, this guy's buying heaps. Look at this guy. He's buying three bags of pasta, some yogurt, some milk. I bet he's hungry. Oh, yeah, he's definitely hungry. He's got three boxes of pippy. Is this cake mix? Or is it kind of like just a packaged bread loaf of some sort? Okay, that's just weird. That's just a weird shop. And also some pasta. How much cereal can one man realistically need? Or even consume? Okay, she's getting a bunch of spaghetti, which is annoying. We only have those there to get people into the store. We don't want people buying all of them at once. All right, what else do we need? We need oil. Let's go ahead and get some oil. Six of them? Sure, I'll do that. Done and dusted. What else do we need? We need probably a lot more yogurt than we have. We don't have a lot of yogurt. I think we'll wait until everything ticks down to zero before we actually start restocking. We need the bougie flour in the red sack, which is right here. at that cart. Done. And we also need maybe four boxes of each cereal as well. Would probably be a really, really good idea. But again, we can wait for them to tick down to zero. In fact, we'll probably actually just empty them now, right? Yeah, we can. We can empty these two boxes that we still have here right now. Good. And we'll dump all of this down here. Great. And I'll try and empty the chocolate pick box as well, but I... You know, I won't hold my breath on whether or not we can dump all 12 boxes at once. Oop, just ran into the window. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Hope nobody saw that. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. We do have a lot of other stuff here that is just not being categorized. Okay, let's throw that on the ground. Let's get this oil in stasis. Where is stasis? There it is. What the hell? Why are there two boxes with five bottles of oil? Brother, you best be taking the piss. Oh my god. Seriously? Oh, I, I, I see. I see. You want to take some oil? Oh, thank you, lady. You are my savior. Now, I think we've only got two more left. So let's go ahead and grab that out of the box as well. And bang, bang. Good. We've emptied two boxes. Let's put this one in stasis right here. Boop. And this one right here. Boop. Good. We've got a lot of flour. We'll put that in stasis as well. But for now, let's just focus on this oil. Great. Could you imagine... Working at a supermarket with somebody who literally just sprinted everywhere. Okay, put that there. We probably want to take these basmati rices and start sticking them up there. Two. Serious? Okay, ten. Yep, there should be ten per box. Not two, for God's sake. There we go. And we'll take this label off. And we'll put down some of the other crap pasta down in place there. So we're going to double stack it. All right, where does this go? This is bougie flour, which goes there. It didn't look like it was actually being taken up by anything. And there, okay. Now we need some of the crap flour, probably about eight boxes of it, where it's not uh, flour, pasta. Good. 70 bucks, done. And we bought it. 
Well, that's dangerous. Okay, let's go ahead and... What are you doing, sir? Oh, does he have nothing to do? Nice! Beautiful, that's exactly what we wanted. Why isn't he restocking these shelves? What is he doing? Sir? Uh... Okay, I'm going to put this one bag of coffee back on the shelf. I can't. Oh, well, let's just throw it there anyway. We'll turn the light on so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so we have organically made 400 bucks today. We haven't actually stopped to take a breath. We've just kind of, like, been restocking everything. Okay, I think I got too much of this goddamn pasta. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't get enough of it. No, I definitely got too much of it. It only stacks into packs of eight. Yuck. That is absolutely revolting. Let's get another deep storage for it, I suppose. Actually, let's get it off of here. Let's just put it in this corner over here. Good, and we'll get rid of these ones as well. No, don't open it, you oaf! Okay, we'll stick it here, and we'll get rid of these two labels. We'll replace it with something that doesn't only stack a box of eight. Yuck. And we'll put them all here. And this one as well needs to go up into this cavity. Right at the end. Let's turn the light on so we can see. Where's the other box? There it is. It's got stuck on a tree. Hey, nice. Boom. Okay. We've got a little nook tucked away. We have kind of neglected all of the cereals, apparently. Where have we? Have we? Oh, that's right. We didn't restock them, did we? That's right. We didn't restock them yet. So we do... Okay. We have hit 9 p.m., so we can't buy anything just yet. But hopefully people will keep buying the cereal, right? Go to look. Mr. Sweaty is in here to replace something. What is it? Mr. Sweaty with a box of spaghetti. Okay, that guy couldn't find anything. That didn't stop him from buying an arseload of groceries, though. Okay, so... Yeah, we probably definitely need another automatic checkout. Like, this one's good enough, but we are doing a lot of waiting. And I feel like we need to generate more sales faster. Wow, this is a big shop. What are you getting? 38? Wow. 44? Wow. 50 bucks! Nice! 50 bucks even! Even better. Thank you! Piss off! Oh, they didn't get any cereal. This guy got cereal. 40 bucks? 45? 51 buckery booze. Thank you. Piss off, sir. Oh, yeah, what a nice little greeting that is. A nice little customized greeting, right? Piss off! It's so ridiculous. It's so slapstick ridiculous. I can almost see it actually happening where I live. What is this guy doing? I don't even know which one he is. Okay, let's go ahead and just like... Start and stop one. Okay, that fixed him. I don't know what he was doing. Nothing. Okay. What are you doing, buddy old pal? Okay, we need coffee. We need a lot of stuff, actually. Okay. We do have 800 bucks, though, in our pocket, which is absolutely fantastic. I love this. Maybe we want to make the sprint to the license, or... Yeah, let's just keep on doing what we're doing, actually. It's working. It's working. Why would we overcomplicate it? And we are only going to replace things when they get to a flat zero. I think that is definitely going to be something we just do. Okay, let's go ahead and end the day while they are working. I'm pretty sure they'll finish all of their work by the time the customers come in and they start fiddling with all of this. Okay, excellent. Wah! I gotta step back. I was doing back yesterday. I think accidentally, I was doing back and triceps. I usually do those two together, and then I do chest... No, I do chest and triceps on the same day. I do back and biceps on the same day. But I accidentally got a bit mixed up, and I did a lot of back exercises yesterday, which was maybe not the best thing in the world, because they agonize the chest muscles and triceps. Why are you stuck here? What the hell are you looking at? Okay, it's not the salt. It's not the oil. Is it this? This guy was a bad investment. He's lazy and he's stupid. And I know exactly which one of them he is as well, because uh, we already started and stopped him. Oh, okay. Now it's the first one that's breaking. Seriously? I don't know if I lose money every time I do that. Actually, let's see. Let's see if we do lose money every time we do that. No, we don't. Okay. We don't lose any money for that. I think I just lost a couple of points. I'm... 
You, sir, are a dick. Wow. Okay, I'm doing the salt now. You can't be trusted. Idiot. Idiot Supreme. Wow. Is he stuck now? No. He's just going around the storehouse wondering what to do. Ah. Ah, it's frustrating. Okay, we've got 730 buckery booze. Are we going to have to start, stop stocking salt because the AI broke again? I can't believe that. I actually cannot believe that. Okay, is he still stuck? Yes! Why? Why are they both stuck? What is going on? Okay, I'm taking this here basmati rice. That's obviously not what they are after. Okay, so it's not the salt. And it's not the basmati rice. Is it this? Is it the oil that keeps breaking them? Maybe? Okay, there was one oil. I probably should have looked in the box before I committed to that. What's this? Full box. Good. All right, we'll dump this down. And the display is full. Go ahead, drop that back down. Okay, they are both broken. That's embarrassing. Uh, let's go ahead and restart them. Okay. Please. Are you taking the piss? Seriously? Why is the AI in this game so overwhelmingly dumb? They just stand in front of it. They're not doing anything. Okay, I'm trying to see where I can put this down. There. Okay, let's try to expand out the storeroom. Maybe the pathfinding is breaking. Growth. No, storage. Yes. Purchase for 1200 bucks. That's pretty crazy, actually. That is an insane amount of money. We almost have it, though. All right, we've got some pasta here. Let's open it up and we'll start restocking because we can't trust our employees to do their goddamn paid jobs. Stick the uh, chocolate pick on here and we'll throw this out. Peanut butter as well needs to go. Good, and that is here. We've got two boxes with one peanut butter in each of them. Disgusting. What is wrong with these degenerates? Yuck. I cannot believe that. This game's a real game of highs and lows, isn't it? Everything breaks, but when it doesn't break, the game is actually really, really fun. Okay, we are one blip away from... Here we go. Oh, nope. I didn't get enough. Is this lady getting enough? Yes, I think so. We can now afford the upgrade to the storage area. Let's go ahead and just get it. Does this unbreak them? All right, let's put this here. Guys, okay, I'm going to save, and then we're going to reload the game. Uh, quit the menu. I think it may have broken a little bit. It is. It's broken. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Let's see what they do. Oh, finally. What did they grab? Tea? Is that tea? What broke them? What broke them? What is it? It may have actually been tea that broke them. Huh. Well, we can't just stop restocking tea. Tea is a major cash cow. Okay, what's in here? Just more pasta. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Weird. Weird beyond measure. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, we don't really want to put that one anywhere else. We want to take all of the things that disappear real quickly. We want to stick them on this shelf, don't we? And we want to stick it right next to this door. Maybe there? Don't know if we can get away with sticking another one there. I don't think so. In fact, we probably could if we just move this. Let's go ahead and throw that anywhere else. Literally anywhere else. And we'll butt it up against this little, little uh, mezzanine right here. So that we can butt these right up into this corner. Okay. Still going? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Got it. Done. And this one as well can go up in the corner too. Excuse me, sir. Perfect. All right. So what are the things that need to be taken frequently? Coffee definitely is one of them. Let's actually buy some coffee before we forget. Market. A single coffee should honestly do the trick. 
but two will uh, be absolutely fantastic. Coffee is one of the things. Uh, tea is another one of them. Why are we making such small amounts of money? What do we need? 102 bucks? Okay, what if I turn the lights on? Will you guys be incentivized to buy more? Oh, this guy's buying a, a heap of stuff. Excellent. Okay, we can definitely get our coffee now. Whoops, that is light off, apparently. Where's the light? Ah, there it is. Let's go ahead, grab this, and we'll just stick it, like, right in the middle here. So that we can kind of see what we're looking at everywhere. Now, we want to go ahead and dump our money into the coffee. So that we can move where this is located. Probably want to stick it, I don't know, like here. And we'll put it there as well. All right, thank you, sir. I had a hunch that they would go for the coffee as soon as I bought it, so that's why I got it. Uh, tea probably is a really good idea. Salt could probably be moved as well. Maybe. We need some things that stack really high. I think yogurt and salt might be really, really good on one of these shelves. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's get rid of that one because it's not a full load. Put that there. 30. And here we go. 60. Good. And this one. Down here, 69. Ha! Nice! Okay, we'll get rid of that label right there. And now we're doing the salt. Let's not get the first one because it's always incorrectly sized. We'll get all of these ones. We'll start stacking them over here. Nice. We're going to start the next day. But first, we are going to finish kind of migrating these things over here. We want them to basically just be a quick grab resource. Here and here. And here, and here. Actually, we should be sticking the cereal, the milk, and the water on the top shelf of here, shouldn't we? Because they kind of run out real fast. Maybe we do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish the day. Then we're going to open the store again. Let's take a look at the shelves. They are looking <laughs> barren. They're looking barren, but ultimately, I think that the restocking is doing very, very well. We also have a plus positive in our pockets, which is awesome. I love that. I'm actually going to take the salt. I know I said that we're going to we're going to migrate the salt over here, but I don't think we will. I think we'll just keep the salt over here because it is one of those things that comes in a huge pack. I think maybe we should keep the small packages close to the door so that maybe when we run out of, say, cereal or something like that, we can just go and refill it really, really fast. Okay, there's the other salt. Put that there. Okay, so that is water. Not interested. We don't Maybe we don't have any cereal. Where is the cereal? Okay, here's the cereal. Get rid of those. And we're going to start stocking the cereal, the cereal on the top row of those. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll get four of each, I think. Yes, that should be good. That's going to cost us 300 buckery boos. Okay, let's only get two cases. That's going to be 150. That's a bit more generous. Okay, the customers have already started coming in here. So we can scam them with our goods and services. We're certainly getting scammed in terms of services. What are you buying? That's Marty Rice, huh? You hungry? You look sick. <laughs> okay. Uh, this guy is not buying a hell of a lot, to be honest. 20 bucks. I mean, it makes a dent, but it's not... It's not breathtakingly generous. Okay, peanut butter should probably also be added over here as well. So we need peanut butter and coffee. Market, we need some peanut butter on top of what we are already going to buy. Where is it? There it is. Okay, we'll just get one of them so we can actually fill it out. Okay, got 111 so far. Maybe they buy breakfast foods at the start of the day and they actually do buy kind of like candies and, and bigger foods by the end. That'd be really cool. But then I would be able to figure out an exploit, which is... Dump into dinner foods, because you've got a free few hours at the end of the day when the customers are still spawning. I think it's less likely that customers are coming in for breakfast than they are for anything else. Maybe that is actually a thing. It's speculation and hearsay. There's no way we could actually figure that out without either poking around in the game files, or of course, uh, collating data ourselves, which I'm really not interested in doing. Couldn't find candy? I know, it, it causes glitches. You dodged a bullet, sir. Okay, nice. This one's going to be a big shop. I saw this lady fisting items into her trolley like a, like the thirsty lady she is. I mean, she's going to be thirsty after all that salt. All right, what's that? 37 bucks? Awesome. That should be enough to buy what we need to buy. Let's go ahead and buy it. Good. So
So there should be one box of coffee right here. Peanut butter, sorry. And we want to stick this basically right here. So it's impossible to miss. Now we want another five of them. Peanut butter. Uh, let's get six. One for the shelf. One for everything else in storage. Okay, so we got these here cereals. I'm just going to stack these up here. And this one is also the same. It can go there. We'll get them four at a time now. Because so we can actually afford to do so. Whoops, didn't mean to open that one either. Okay, that one can go there. They are annoying though. I don't want to have to be the one that opens them and stocks them myself. So I'm sticking them on the top lane where it's just the least convenient to get for me. So it incentivizes the, the NPCs getting it. Uh, we're pretty close to getting this here PB's peanut butter pack. Excellent. Roblox player removing function is so annoying. It doesn't always detect that a player left. So I end it with a target that doesn't exit and bugging my script. Oh, I didn't know you make Roblox maps. That's kind of cool, actually. I played a couple of the, like, uh, creature collector idle ones. Some of them are really fun. The ones that you can beat in a single session, those are really fun. I'm not really too fond of the ones that take any more than four or five hours to just, like, fully beat. You know, the whole purpose for them is that you come in and you waste time in there. And that's the entire purpose of the, uh, of, of the... Uh, do they call them worlds? What do they call the individual games in Roblox? I don't know. I played a bit of it. When I got a, uh, a little Bluetooth controller that hooks around my phone, I played a lot of Roblox in bed while I was kind of like winding down after a day. Good fun, that stuff. Good fun. Basically crack Roblox. It's it's cool because it's, it's, it's popular in the same way Minecraft is and the complete opposite way that Minecraft is because Minecraft is Lego for adults, essentially. And Roblox is Lego... Uh, what's that other one? Uh, Duplo? It's like Duplo for adults. Duplo's kind of like Lego, but um, about this big per brick. And God, it's hard to store. My God, it is really hard to store. Okay, so we need to get lots of coffee, lots of peanut butter. Lot of coffee, lot of peanut butter. Good. What are we looking at? Six for two hundred twenty-four. I'll take it. Nice. And now we want a bunch of coffee. Yeah. Yes, please. Right. Uh, let's stop slurring a weird Louisiana accent, and we'll start coming all the way through here. Or is it kind of like Alabama? Probably more like Alabama, right? I don't know the difference between those two states whatsoever. Just a little bit embarrassing because I'm fairly decent at geography. I think the difference between Louisiana and the difference between Louisiana and the other one that I just mentioned is probably a border. Or Kentucky. God, they're, down in Southern America, they all sound the same to me. Like, in different ways. You can obviously, like, pick out the nuances, but ultimately, at the end of the day, they all kind of remind me of Goofy from Michael Mouse. Okay, good. This guy's refilling the oil. We need powdered sugar, it seems. We don't have any powdered sugar. Let's go ahead and just get a bunch of them. Before the markets close, powdered sugar is right at the top here. We'll get like five of them, I suppose. Oh, we didn't buy this. We can almost buy this. We're only $42.94 away. So we need one single shop. One single big shop. Most Roblox games are kind of like clickbait and brain rot, not going to lie. Yeah, that's. I definitely agree with that. And I think it's probably 90% of Roblox is like that. You get a development studio together, which is just a bunch of people who use child psychology to keep children playing the game. And that inflates their numbers. I don't know what kind of like financial incentive they have other than those microtransactions. But even then, children don't exactly have, you know, access to finances. So is Robux really a lucrative market? Well, probably is actually, because you've probably got a lot of rich children. All right, so back in the market. Damn it, we, ju oh, we just hit 9 p.m. I was just about to check it out. So close! So close! All right. So we've still got a lot of salt. Tea's going out the door pretty quickly as well. Oil also running out of it very fast. Let's go ahead and just try and, like, end the day as soon as we have the last person leave. Nope, he hasn't picked anything up. I'm not going to bother. Good. Okay, next day. Market prices changed for the coffee. I don't care too much. Whatsoever. In fact, we could probably actually afford that. Thing that we were just buying. Hey, we just unlocked the professional loan. We could buy this and then we could start selling meat products, but I don't think we should really do so yet. All right, where was it? Uh, powdered sugar and also coffee. We need more money. 
I can't believe it. We actually need more money. Let's take a loan out. Let's go to the bank. I feel like we should just max out the amount of time it takes to pay this off. Daily payment, 120. Better than 440. Oh my God. We take this out. We buy the license. We buy our first little stockpile of the meats and we are going to be in a really good place. It's easy money for them. Yeah, I suppose you're right, actually. As soon as they have made the, the map, I don't... They don't really have to do anything else, do they? And they're just going to rip assets from another, another, another Roblox world, and that's it. I'm going to do it. Okay, I've taken the loan. Let's go ahead and immediately go to licenses under management. And we want to get the rather expensive... This one here, to allow us to sell meats. Might have been a bad idea, but you guys are going to absolutely love how this goes. Because now, on the market, we have meats. Sushi is incredibly lucrative. So are scallops. Oh my god, look at these. Unit price $1.88 for 24 of them. Wow. We could actually just be a seafood store at this point. And look at the quantities they sell in as well. Steaks, you buy 300 of them, you get 32, and they all sell. No, we buy them all. For... No. I'm confused. Okay, we can't afford this anyway, so let's not buy it. We can buy a large sushi, which I'm going to do, and we're also going to buy a small sushi too. Oh, we didn't buy the other things. Okay, we should probably buy these ones first. Whoops. Oopsies. Okay, we got... Oh, we're closed. <laughs> That'll, that, ex, that explains a lot. Oh, I think I can exploit the fact player removing his buggy to dupe on some games. I have no idea what that means. I don't actually know too much about programming Lo Roblox. It's never been run, one of those platforms that I've necessarily been attracted to, but it's been a, a nice little time waster to plug five to ten minutes into if, you, if you've got the time and the, and the phone battery. Other than that, I've never really been terribly attracted to it. Okay, this guy looks like Agent 47, but he's got hair, and he's really skinny, and he's got a creepy look on his face. Wonder if he can read. Let's see. Okay, doesn't really look like he can read. What about this guy? Back day, an oblique stay guy. No, he can't read either. That's weird. Oh, well, not my problem. Couldn't find Sushi Large. I am literally in the process of buying it! Wow. Yeah, that is why we need the sushi. It's because it's incredibly uh, popular. So we want to buy this eventually. Coffee, sugar powder. Maybe we don't need to buy these just yet if we're going to dump into sushi. We'll get it later. We'll get that later. Let's go ahead and get a... Small sushi. A large sushi. Okay, and we definitely want to start stockpiling these as well. They're insanely valuable. Uh, we're going to start sticking these up here, and we want to stock them in the fridge. Relatively easy to find. About here would be good. And here. Good. Okay. That's the whole pack. Now we have to set the prices before somebody has a good idea and buys it. Now, we can set it to around about 28 bucks, which is a pretty damn good... Uh... Okay, let's set it to 30. That's a pretty good profit. It's basically 12 bucks profit. Okay, these guys are doing nothing. Taylor Swift has entered the room, as has her weird black hole friend. Actually, I think they're the same character with different colored dresses. Lazy. Okay. What are you looking for, lady? Can't find steaks? You'll find them. They're coming. Don't worry. They're coming. Oh, this guy's buying coffee. This lady is buying eggs. Okay, no one's buying the sushi yet. That's embarrassing. What's this guy restocking? Eggs. Okay, good. Right, so now that we've got that one, we probably want to start getting these small sushis and an additional fridge. Which means we probably want to stop stocking this crap water here. Because water doesn't really give us anything. And it's a bit... It, yeah, we're definitely going to get rid of it. If we are completely out of it, we're not going to sell it anymore. Water is now done. We will sell milk because it kind of, like, attracts people in. But I feel like we don't really want to sell it anymore. Unless we need to, which we'll figure out later. Okay, couldn't find bun papa cake. That's a shame. It's probably because we don't sell it. Hello there, Punisher. Got a couple of people coming in this time. Doesn't look like either of them are buying anything that we want them to buy. So let's go into the market. We'll get ourselves a small sushi. These are worth heaps. Heaps of money. This is going to be a major cash cow for us. Uh, and we want to stock it right here so we can see how many we have on hand. And we probably want to start stocking it 
Maybe on the bottom row here, under the milk. Let's do that. Oh, look how that stacks. That stacks well. Okay, we'll throw that there. And we want to make this an average price of $22 with a profit of $6 each. That's pretty damn good. Okay, let's put that there. We've actually got more employees in the store now than we do customers, which is a little embarrassing. Yeah, he's got one more box of cereal. What are you looking for, bud? Can't find Musaka? Okay, we'll start stocking that soon. Maybe we do want to take the other loan as well. We aren't getting a lot of customers at the start of the day, unfortunately. Player removing is an event that happens when a player leaves the server. Okay. It, it does sound handy, I suppose. I suppose it's not... It, it, it's got to be really, really hard to kind of like centralize information for the management of a server. Because servers are real, real hard to manage. Oh, look at this guy. He's buying three packs of small sushi. Nice. It's exactly what I want. So the steaks and stuff, they end up becoming staples, which people end up coming into the store to purchase. Oh, the sushi is uh, flying off the shelves, actually. Good. We're going to have to keep a real good eye on that. Whoa, 75 bucks. Nice. Okay, now we can afford to get ourselves another meat. We need another fridge, though, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the fridges. There's a double print fridge. It's 400 bucks. Let's get one in fair response. Red. We'll, we'll save up. We'll save up 400 bucks. Are you getting sushi, sir? Okay, he looked a little confused for a second there. Oh, piss off. Not like this. No! The sushi is breaking everyone. Oh, oh, that hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. Oh, the large sushi broke them! It's, it's probably because we've got them in two separate areas. What if we just get a single fridge and stuck them in there? Let's try that. Okay, single fridge. We'll get in fair response red, obviously, and we'll spend 200 bucks on that bad boy right there. Done! Let's go ahead and set this up before 6 p.m. so that we can try and dump our sushi into it. This should fix everything. This should fix literally everything. Okay, we need one more large sushi from products. There we go, 145 bucks. We can almost afford that. We can afford it. Nice. We've got 81 cents to our name. Nice. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick these in here. We're going to grab these ones. And we're going to stick them in here. And we're going to grab these ones. And they should not be faffing around like they are. What are they doing? What is... What is the issue? Oh, no. I think we actually need, like, single fridges now from now on. Because this is just going to gather up a bunch of people to get stuck. Turn the lights on so they can see how stupid they look. Oh, that's going to be frustrating. I forgot to take the labels off. I forgot to take the labels off. That's, that's my bad. That's embarrassing. That is my bad. Okay, this guy's getting yogurt. Bugger. Okay, we probably also want to... Probably want to just flat out sell this fridge if we can. Let's just cancel whatever we're trying to sell here and here and here. We'll get yogurt in... Maybe we'll put it in the sushi fridge. Instead of where it actually is. Like, right at the bottom. Okay, nice. <laughs> there were only two bits of yogurt in that one. Oh, I should have grabbed these ones out. Oh, okay, fine. I wonder if... No, that one's full. Okay, I think that guy just gave up. Okay, what are you buying, sir? Please buy our sushi. Oh, Man, we broke the game again. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad. That's after Basmati rice. We don't sell that anymore, buddy. Okay, this guy's filling up these display with yogurt. I probably could have done that myself and then used it to remove the yogurt from this display, but... You know, say la vie. We're probably just going to empty this fridge, right? And then we're not going to sell anything more. Okay, this guy's looking for flour. He's not finding it. So, okay. We now have a loan. We've got responsibilities. And we are $53 in debt. That's not so bad. It's actually not so bad. Let's open up. We'll do it one more day before I call the stream. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, what's going on down here? We are pretty empty on the staples. We need a bunch of the bougie flour. Uh, we don't have any money. Probably just take out another loan realistically. If we have the license unlocked for the meats, 
We can just take out another loan to get all of these materials. Let's do it. Uh, extend this out as far as possible. Yep. Good. And now we're going to spend all of this on things that we actually want to start selling. I think Musaka might be a good idea. Scallops might be a good one. Someone came in for Musaka, I think. There's 24 in a pack. It's 170 bucks each. Steaks are pretty lucrative as well. Let's go ahead and just get a steak, and then we'll get maybe some of this flour. Good. And we've still got five more slots. Do we have any coffee? Uh, no, we don't. Let's get some coffee as well. Coffee, 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 and we'll fill out the rest of it. Good, that's all of that loan gone on consumables. All right, coffee, what's this? That's flour. We'll probably just throw that on the ground. These guys will deal with it. What is this? More coffee. Don't care. Where is the steak? There it is. Okay. So steaks stack really, really well, which is why I like them so much. Let's go ahead and stick the steaks here. Good. And now we want to... Ah, oh. we're gonna need another one of these fridges, I think, because this is just not good enough. Honestly, it's very bad. Okay, the sushi is almost out. We have uh, almost all, almost run out of our coffee as well. We'll just temporarily stick all of these steaks here, and I'm just gonna throw that on the ground so that the other guys have something to do. Let's set it 15 bucks each. Nice round number. And now I empty this. Okay, good. Look how many there are. Oh my God, there are so many of those bad boys. Okay, can we get rid of these? No. Can we get rid of these small ones? No. What about these yogurts? Oh uh, yeah, we can probably actually use this box to get all the yogurts into a single box and then we'll throw it back into the rack. Good. Well, that's one piece of the puzzle sorted. Let's throw that there and we'll clear this label as well so that our idiots don't put it back. And then we'll try and maneuver away from this fridge because it seems like these double areas are not compatible with the NPCs anymore. Maybe it's got something to do with the pathfinding. Hard to say. It is a nasty bug. All right, peanut butter, couple of flowers. Beautiful. 19 bucks straight in the pocket. Probably actually afford to get ourselves a few more meats if that's the case. Because they're good to have on hand. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to do it right this second. Maybe veal chops. Yeah, they sell for a little bit more, but I think they're definitely going to be worth it. Boop. Buy that right there. Excellent. And we want to stick these veal chops right next to the steaks, obviously. Uh, I think I may have overwritten the sushis. Ah, oh, well, we'll change that when we get more sushi. So that is now the steaks, and we want to start sticking these right here, and I'm going to throw that into the corner of the room. Tenderize the steaks a little bit. We want to price them at around about 17 bucks each for a profit of $7 per slab of meat. And people buy a lot of these in quantity. Like, this is definitely a license that is actually worth having. I think you're about to see it. Yeah, that guy just bought two of them. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take all of this yogurt right here. And we will destock this shelf. There also needs to be kind of like, if there was a label next to all of these that just says, don't restock any more of this, because you can't disable this when there is stuff here, unfortunately. It just doesn't work. Put the yogurt there. We've still got a bit of coffee. Got a bit of peanut butter. Probably don't need that much coffee. We'll just stock it here for now. If we need excess, we'll stick it on another shelf. But I don't think we will. Okay, people are already buying the meats. So this is kind of like a self-sustaining business model with the meats. Okay, I don't know what she just bought, but there was only one of it. Oh, perfect. He's buying the sushi. Good. Get it off the shelves. We need a second fridge. We're going to need a second fridge. We're going to need to get rid of this one. We're going to need a second fridge. Okay, this guy's getting a bunch of the meats. How much is it going to sting him? Nice. Yes. Oh, yes, he is a big spender. Oh, daddy, yes. 160 bucks in one go. And his, his twin is here to get... 19 bucks worth of stuff. That's disappointing. The other guy, though. Wow, he overspent, if anything. Okay, let's segue this into this fridge right here. So as soon as someone buys from this right here, we're going to put this one bit of sushi in there. And we probably also want to put the small sushis in this one too. Just because it's going to be a little while until we get another fridge. We... It's too expensive. No. Okay, how about 29 bucks? Done. For a profit of 10. Hello there. Uh, wow, she's cute. She's got cleavage. And she's not wearing a red shirt. She's a new uh, character model. That's it. Uh, that's funky. Love that. 
Ha, <laughs> this lady's getting sushi. Idiot! What's this guy looking for? What are you looking for, bud? Ron sliced bread? Ron doesn't live here. You're not gonna find Ron sliced bread here. Okay, we got some eggs. We got some eggs being taken. Got some pasta being taken. We are probably gonna have to sustain this kind of like minimum bare necessities area here. Aside from these eggs, we could probably actually end up selling this uh, after we get rid of this one sushi with 29 buckery booze. What are you spending? 28 bucks? That sucks. That sucks ass. Okay, so... Probably want to start getting another meat, right? We can actually afford... We can almost afford to pay off that first loan. That'd be pretty funny, actually. If we can actually pay off that first loan within today, that'd be hilarious. Because, again, that is still something we don't have to pay off tomorrow. All right, they're throwing boxes out. We're kind of running down to fumes at this point, though. I'm just hoping by the end of the day, we'll pay the loan off so that we don't have to pay the additional fee of the interest on top of the loan. Okay, our cereal is getting pretty low as well. We don't really have anything else to subsidize. Oh, this guy actually just found a box of something to restock. Good on him. How much is in it? Two. Okay. It's going to go... Oh, this is going to be a big one. Oh, Yes, 67 buckery booze. We can almost pay, actually, we probably could because we got it yesterday, so we may have already paid off some of it. Ah, oh, so close, 765 buckery booze. And we are going to be in the clear. Nice, we've got it. She couldn't find small sushi, that's funny. Okay, we'll pay this off early. Done, that is one loan done dusted before 9 p.m. as well, like right on the cusp, but just before. Okay, excellent, I love this. This feels good. It's still very barren and empty in here, but now we actually do have the ability to generate money at a pretty damn good rate. All right, friendo, what are you buying? Just a bunch of crap? Peanut butter? Eggs? Yes. Awesome. This guy's got a weird sweater. I wonder why they always go around the back of the machine to leave the building. It can't actually be the fastest path from A to B. Is that G-Man? Kind of. In this lighting it is. You know, from Half-Life. G-Man. Which I haven't played yet. Okay, she's getting a little bit of beef. Love that. We still have so much of it as well, and we are generating so much money off of it. Okay, so we finished the day. We'll see what our outgoing is. It is... We're at a plus positive! Nice! I imagine if we had anything additional, we'd probably be up a creek without a paddle. We need some more of this here powdered sugar now. Let's go ahead and get some. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and call me crazy. I'm going to change the album that we're listening to. Avenged Sevenfold's Nightmare is pretty damn good, but I feel like there's another one right here. Their self-titled album, Avenged Sevenfold. Let's, let's listen to that for a wee while. Okay, so people are going to be coming by. The Rotund Man is not interested in our wares today. Maybe uh, coloured Agent 47. Is that coloured? No, he's definitely white. He's just very, very tan. Okay. Kerry 47 is coming in now. We're pretty low on the sushi, it seems. We can now actually sell this fridge as well for a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and do that. And box it up. Yes, and we are selling it. Done. This guy came in for eggs, I think, and we just deleted them. Oh, no, he came in for bottled water. Ah, oh, well, sucks to suck, buddy, old pal. Let's go ahead and... Actually, we can't really do anything until we get ourselves another fridge, can we? Or at least remove this sushi from the platform. Because then we can start sticking in the small sushi, which I'm pretty sure we have stockpiled. We do not. In fact, we don't have any stockpile for sushi up here. That's fine. We only need a couple of sales. We only need to win a few times. Okay, good. This guy's getting some nice fruity yogurt. Good for him. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, so Big Jumpsuit Dickhead here is uh, pulling out a box of something. What is it? A single bag of pasta. Wow, really earning your wages there, aren't you, twit? Okay, good. That guy's earning his wages. If only I could differentiate them. They are literally clones. It's like the story of Portal all over again. Okay, so we've got some boxes of uh, stuff up here. They're not selling very well. We've got some eggs that we... Well, don't actually have any eggs in saying that. Fine. There is another box here with only one bit of pasta in it. What the hell? 
What the hell are you guys doing to my stock room? These guys are idiots. Okay. Okay, I'll just like suspend disbelief for a little while. Okay. So I do think that maybe we should get a loan for today or at least a loan for tomorrow. Oh, this lady's getting a lot of meat actually. That's at least 30 bucks right there. I'm thinking if we can get ourselves over the $1,000 mark, we can get on we can get ourselves another fridge. Oh, come off it. Seriously? Wow. Actually, that is going to be a major cash cow, though. We are about to have a huge injection of money. One, two, oh, 103, 132 buckery boos. Right down the hole. Thank you, lady. Piss off. Uh, this lady here is just getting oil and salt. That is not the breakfast of champions. Finally. Okay. So now if we get ourselves some more of that small sushi, we can actually stock it in the fridge. Right here, 248 buckery boos. Done. Purchased. Uh, give it. Thank you. Now, we probably actually want to find somewhere to stock this. I'm thinking here would be a good idea. And we'll stick this on the top shelf. Because it stacks pretty high, and we can just leave this... Where do we want to put this? Right there. Okay, good. And now we need large sushi. So we can sell large sushi. It's 30 bucks a box, though. Come on. How can we not sell this? It's exactly what we need. And now that we've restocked that, I feel pretty confident that we can actually just buy ourselves another fridge. Oh, we can have four boxes of the small sushi, I think. No, we can only get two, and we can only get two of the big sushi, so they stack the same. There's literally no benefit. Hey, hey there, Bruce, welcome back. You caught just the end of the last stream, didn't you? I, I think I remember. You came in at a really, really unlucky time. We were just ending it. Okay, we'll come back in here, and I think now... Right, this guy's restocking something. Don't know what the hell it is. We still have heaps of meat. Like, heaps of meat. Okay, good. These guys are buying a bunch of things. He just bought something for 69 bucks. I love that. 44? 66? Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Okay, he's gone. We've got 300 bucks. Uh, we are almost clear to buy another fridge, which means we can buy more meat products, which just don't run out. This is still our first order of veal and meat. Meat being from a cow and veal being from, of course... You know, venison. No, where is veal from? I thought it was from a deer. It could be, who knows. I find venison to be real dry, so I hope it's not that. Yep, nice. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a workflow. You've probably missed all of these struggling and debt and doom loops that we found. Uh, all of the AI have bugged out as well in some form or, or another. We have definitely gotten fixes for them. For example, when AI kind of like glitch at the start of these shelves i found that just the single shelves are significantly easier to get them unstuck from than the doubles and we also just had the issue with the double fridge as well so we can't get those whatsoever we just have to get these singles we want to get some furniture a single fridge right here and we're getting fair response red obviously done how much have we got left 275 bucks yes please don't mind if i do okay we'll put this one right next to the other fridge right here i don't know if we can kind of like name these or something there's some lights up here, which would indicate me that we could probably put, like, some advertisements maybe on top of these fridges. But maybe that's not actually an option whatsoever. Do we have any other refrigerated items that should be going in that other... we got eggs, I suppose. I think we just buy more meat. Let's just buy more meat. I think we get more meats. Okay, we could probably get the packaged ones, like moussaka and salmon and scallop grains. Scallop grains real cheap. I'll try it. Okay, we'll get these three for 332 buckery booze. Nice. Poor. Nice. Okay, so we got the moussaka. This just looks like a microwave dinner. Let's just dump this down here. And, okay, good. We've got an excess box. And we'll make this an average of 14 bucks. Good. That is a huge profit as well. We'll turn the lights on so we can see. I love how none of these customers are all like, Oh, I can't see. Can you put the lights on? Like, not a single one of them. We've also got some salmon right here. People laugh at me for how I say Salmon. Uh, that can obviously be priced at $11, which, funnily enough, is half the cost of what you would pay for that Salmon here in New Zealand. Uh, this is probably another microwave dinner. Uh, pardon me, sir. Okay, we're probably not going to run out of that anytime soon. Let's go ahead and just drop this in here. And that's good. We'll drop that in the corner. We want this to be priced around about 4 bucks each. I don't think we're going to worry too much about keeping that one restocked. We probably want these ones on the racks, like here. And this one can go here. And what didn't we get? I think it was a salmon. 
So we should probably actually get another salmon just so we can put it on the icy storage. Good. And we can actually... Have, oh, piss. No, we can't. We're not going to be able to afford it by the time the shop kind of like ticks over and takes all the finances from us. I do feel a little bit blessed in the sense that lots of people are buying the meats, though. Which is really nice. It, it tends to be at the end of the day, I feel. Oh, look. These guys are getting pippy dares. Nice. Have you played Team Fortress 2? Yes, I've played thousands of hours of Team Fortress 2. Not for a long time, though. Not for a long, long time. There's lots and lots of hats that I've missed out on recently. I think I... The last time I dumped a few hundred hours into Team Fortress 2 was when they added the update for... I think it was Man vs. Machine? And I've always been keeping up with all of their... Kind of like... What are they? Character introductions. Those are so... Those are so cool. I love them so much. Okay, this guy's buying a bunch of... Excellent. Couldn't find Ron's sliced bread? Ron doesn't even live here. What an asshole. New update? Ooh, really? Is it PvE or is it another PvP one? Because I... Like, after so long of playing Team Fortress 2, I've probably had my fill of PvP. Oh, this guy's working for a living. That's not like him. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's dying. But yeah, the PvE stuff, I love it so much. It's really fun. Really, really fun. I even got a couple of, like, really, really cool guns on there as well. Because they had skins on there for a wee while. And then they made the skins functional. Okay, good. Go ahead and swap this. We do want to buy another Salmon so that we can actually stockpile it. Market. Salmon. Done. Oh, 49 bucks short. So close. Ugh. It is PvE? Okay, I'm probably actually going to play it then. Thanks for the heads up. I'm very excited now. I'm very excited, actually. I've seen a lot of the games recently are being released that I love. Like, uh, the first half of this year, I gotta say, was actually very dry when it came to, like, games that I was excited for. But if I'd known Into the Pit was coming out, probably would have been excited for that one. I didn't see it come out. Uh, in fact, I was about a week late. I didn't even know it came out. I just saw Markiplier play it uh, pretty late as well. Now, I am looking forward to a bunch of games. There's Silent Hill 2, which is getting a big HD remake. Uh, coming out real close to my birthday. There's Streets of Rogue 2, which is coming out also a week before my birthday, hilariously. Uh, there is Dying Light the Beast, which is the kind of like... Uh, Dying Light 2 was a flop. Everyone who played Dying Light knows that Dying Light 2 sucked absolute ass. It was prettier. Argu it was arguably prettier. But it sucked absolute ass in terms of, like, gameplay. It was only melee exclusive. There were no guns. Uh, the second half of the game was literally just like vertical parkour and platforming. Yuck. Absolutely gross. And not the fun kind of platforming like that in Dying Light 1. Um, Dying Light 1 and Dying Light the following had some of the most fun gunplay, bow play, and parkour in any first-person game I have ever experienced, hands down, and it doesn't even come close. So uh, Dying Light the Beast is supposed to be the successor to those games, the fun ones, and I'm really excited for that. They had these kind of like parkour systems where there was like these really long jumps and you could jump really far, but if you missed the jump, it wasn't so bad because you could always grab onto the, the ledge and hoist yourself back up. Dying Light 2 was real jank with it. Have you played In Sound Mind? No, what is that? I've never heard of that in my life. Although if you do have requests for me, I do have a game requests channel on my Discord, which should be in the description of this stream, if not on any of the videos that I've posted in the last year. Should be able to find it pretty damn easily. Uh, all of the game requests get compiled up there, and we generally take a vote on which ones we play. Good game? Okay, I'll, I'll take a look. Thanks for the heads up. Might write it down, actually. While I'm also writing down the things that Scott wanted me to see as well. Sound. Mind. Okay, I'll check it out. I'm pretty close to the end of the stream, actually, so I'm probably going to check it out in the next few minutes. I just want to end this day, and then we'll see what we've got to work with for the next session. Did we get our salmon? No, we didn't, because it was too expensive, which is hilarious, because that's exactly what people say here in New Zealand. Oh, we're trying to buy two units of it, though. That's probably why. Okay, we'll get salmon, and we'll also maybe get these scallops? No. Okay, we've got steak, we've got veal chops, we've got sushi, we've got both sides sushi. This is everything. we got everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start buying our... Like, necessities. Don't you dare. Wow, that was so close. This guy almost tried to snipe my salmon out of my hands. What a jerk. Uh, we want to put this one here, I think. It's going to be a big cash cow, I think. 
Okay, we'll drop the, all of this here, and then I'm going to throw it at the doorway so that our employees have something to do. All right, what are we low on? Let's go check the... Actually, let's check the shelves first. We need these cereals, which are on the top shelf, so we can get four of each of them. Actually, we can get five of each of them because we have a shelf free on both ends. Let's go ahead and buy this for 366 buckery booze. Done. That's going to be cereal for the next God knows how long. We need teas. Let's get a bunch of tea as well. Five tea. Yep, that should do the trick. And we probably need a bunch of coffee too. What do we got? Oh, we got it. We got six coffee left. We'll wait until that hits zero before we replace it. What is that? Salt? Uh, we probably do need a lot of salt. No, we don't, actually. Let's go ahead and just remove that label because it's incorrect. And tea should realistically be on... Okay, we're moving tea. We didn't buy the tea, I don't think. Let's go ahead and buy the tea. Whoops, that was close. Embarrassing. Uh, let's get this tea right over here because it's one of those items that we're going to need to keep a consistent, steady supply of. Olive oil should probably go over here as well, realistically. Let's go ahead and buy some olive oil. Good right here. We get five of them for 200 bucks. Sure. Man, we are making bank now. Jesus. Look at the money. Ah, there's the olive oil. So we don't want to stock it there anymore. We probably want to stick it down here. This is handier there. And we run out of it pretty damn quickly. What else we got? We don't want to stock any of the things that glitch out the NPCs, unfortunately. So we're not going to bother with those too much. What else we got? Maybe sliced bread would be a good idea. Pasta. Probably going to be a good idea. Let's get four of those. And we'll also get four of this bougie flour right here. So I'm pretty sure we're not selling a hell of a lot of that. Good. Oh, no, I've got lots of this bougie flour. So what we actually need is blue basmati and white spaghetti. Blue basmati and white spaghetti. So blues, blue basmati and white spaghetti. Right here, rice basmati. We'll get seven of these because we can afford to do so. And white spaghetti, right here. We'll get six. Done. Purchased. Done and dusted. That is a lot of stuff we just purchased. Oh my god. Okay. We'll go ahead and flick the lights on. And this will be the last day before we get out of the stream. A little bit of a warning for everybody. A little bit of a warning. Just so you can plan your days out. I don't... Usually I don't quite like it when people are just like, Okay, I'm just ending the stream now. And then they, uh... They're gone. I have to go find something else. Here's a joke. Once one of my friends told me the echo. I told him, do you hear yourself? Told me the echo. Sorry? Once one of my friends told me the echo. I told him, do you hear yourself? Oh, right. Yes, I get it. I get it. I get it. Sorry, it, it did take a while. It took a while. I got a stupid brain. Got a real stupid brain. I got one for you. Um, not sure if you'll get it, though. Um, a tachyon walks into a bar, and the neutrino particle says, I'll have H2O too. And then the tachyon says to the barman, I'll take H2O. And then the uh, neutrino particle also walks into the bar, and the barman says, are you sure? And the neutrino particle died later that day. <laughs> so many layers on that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somewhere out there, there is a quantum physicist chuckling. Like, there is a quantum physicist sitting there thinking, oh, that was layers on layers of genius. <laughs> but I don't think they'll be watching my channel. So <laughs> I love that one so much. Came up with it myself, obviously. <laughs> it's super jank. Okay, so we have reached the end of the day. Honestly, that joke was probably more tame than uh, than most of the jokes I tell. I used to be a builder, so I'm just full of really, really bad jokes. Like, how do you make a plumber cry? You kill his family. But um, got it, nailed it. That was a great one. <laughs> Carpenters have such a crap sense of humour. I'm back. Finally, found my phone. Hey there, Kexner. I have some bad news. We're about to leave. <laughs> the stream is ending, so you might want to. Uh, maybe find something else to do for a bit. Or, you go check out the VODs. They're always going to be there. Wow. What, the, the the plumber one? Yeah, I know, it's pretty shocking, isn't it? That is one of my... I got a friend named Dave, who's been a builder for his entire life, and he... That is his favourite joke. Every time you tell it, he will absolutely just burst out in stitches.
and it's so inappropriate. Every now and then he'll just bust it out in polite company as well. And people will be looking around like, uh, what? And he'll just literally be cackling with laughter. He'll have tears in his eyes. He can't see that everybody's um, kind of wondering why he just uh, uh, told a joke about murder. When are you going to do the cry of fear endings? Uh, that is a really good question. I'm not entirely sure. We've got the save for two of the endings already, and I don't think it's going to take me any more than that same sitting to get the last ending that we don't necessarily have. I'm probably going to dedicate the Doctor playthrough to a completely different time, and it's probably going to be the same session that I can play the co-op with Epic Flying Horse, who's another YouTuber. Um, lives where I live, we're friends. I didn't even know he was a YouTuber when I became his friend, so going to be doing that. Okay. What is going on here? The traffic's all backed up. I'm just kind of waiting for the AI to finish stocking everything before I kind of end it. What is this guy doing? Oh, he's doing nothing. That makes sense. Okay, I'm off. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Right up here, this is for the, everyone watching the VODs in the future, by the way, because I curate my VODs. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Supermarket Simulator that I'd have made, and right up here, you can find another playlist that I think you'd really, really enjoy. Down the description of this video, you're going to find D's Nuts. Just kidding, you're going to find the description uh, where you can find a link to my Discord. And, of course, until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!